any type of 24 hour store go into the store right now and put your hand in the cash register for no reason their money is your money as of right now shout to zach for the gifted appreciate you appreciate you fall flex is hilarious i ain't gonna lie and i'm not i'm not saying tso radio another gifted because i'm not gonna lie there was some people trying to trying to press the b star of us and I, I'm not I'm not saying that you know we'll carry this into the next week into the next week, but for today. <laughs> Listen, man, I already told you, you and your three letter gangs, they don't whoa. phase me. They never whoa, whoa, phase whoa, whoa. me. Jesus. They never <laughs> I don't care Yo, what chill, the three bro. letters be. D, D I got one too. Bro. I got, I got one. He's on fire. <laughs> IRG. He's on fire. You know, AMP. He's on fire. FNG. F- He's on fire. DSG. You're nasty. Yeah. You're nasty. You're nasty. You're nasty. He's, He's on fire. On He's on fire. He's on. He's on fire. 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 Ladies and all gentlemen. You, all you three letter niggas. We got him. Put a K on that shit. For real. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Ain't no K on my shit, nigga. We're Put chill. a K at the end of it. That's how I'm feeling. Now, I don't want to drag it because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I really don't. <laughs> Just... All right, oh, yeah, buddy. Gay son thought daughter, man. Let's go. Let's go, uh, bro. Right, Can we talk right, about that? Right. We really got to press that the envelope. Funny, so. so, DSGK Killer Damo. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> they fear you over there, man. <laughs> the killer is oh, crazy. Man. Oh man. Hey. My name ring bells. Attitude change. My name come on. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> You're boy. You're boy. Yeah, I'm I'm boy. Boy. Yo. Yo, what up, chat? What up, chat? Yeah, I need a job back because I ain't gonna lie, I'm in the house bored as fuck during the day. <laughs> Yo, I know Omar, I know Omar be bored as fuck in the house because we was up at two in the morning last night playing 2K. I was like, Yo, yeah, abs- I was like, are y'all bored. on 2K? What the fuck? Yes, absolutely. Super bored. I promise you, I am. Uh, TSO, well, Sage, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is he about it? Yo, it's good. Yo, what's going on, man? Um, w Stream, shout out to TSO Rage again because that nigga single handedly accomplished the stream goal of my end. I want to give him credit here as well. Um, shout out to everybody that was in the stream prior to. And uh, shout out to everybody in the stream right now and tuning in soon. It's going to be a great pot after we get done with the EB for whatever the fuck's going on. I, I, I don't know what the hell going on. But I'm also, don't duck from that beef, no. no. I ain't duck. I ain't. I ain't ducking beef, but hey, I, I, I don't cook the real beef that don't potatoes. need to be cooked. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. that, that's a spoiler to how I feel about this. I don't cook beef that don't need to be cooked. And the big dog, the one that's on top. You feel what I'm saying? Leader of this shit, man. He running it every single day <laughs> like it's a track meet. Dead ass. He's hitting up. He's, He's on shit, fire. Baby. I'm gonna bring it home. Omar, go ahead. No. <laughs> Big killer in the building, B Souls. What's going on, man? Doing no, good, man. Could be better, could be better. But um, my new chair is coming in, so that should help things out. Look at you slouching over this the shit now. Like when you, you were <laughs> chair's not out. Chair's not out. Niggas gonna, niggas gonna get a three thousand dollar chair just to slouch forward in it. Come on, hey, bro. That'd two, be bro. crazy. Chair, two. Chill. Two. Oh, my bad. My bad. Take it off. My bad. Just to just to not sit in the chair, just to be like this. Because <laughs> you know why, right? Well, Damo, watch that. Watch it next week. His back gonna be on fire. That's why he's not <laughs> this this position right here is the only position he can find some relief in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. God, I think it's um, nah, not even. He gonna be like these. Yeah, guys. All right, chat. So what we get? What we get to today, chat? Yo, so get Look at my no, money's okay. worth, man. I'm yeah. Good. Hey, let me let me let me tell y'all something. My doctor told me. Uh, my physical therapist told me like watch somebody that sits in a chair. And if they move constantly, it's because they're trying to find a position to be comfortable in. So, chat, count. Take a shot every time Bezos moves. Just nah, take a bro, shot. You're <laughs> gross. Oh, I ain't playing that game. I, I got I to party tomorrow. Every, ta- every time game. he, every time he, and I just feel like. I do it every um, 10 times. Every 10 times. <laughs> no, nah, you're on my penis, bro. You're on my penis, bro. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, there it is. That's one. Today. Nah, it's all good to be moving a lot. So, that's what I said. I do it every 10. I got to party tomorrow. That's too. Um, right. If you're new to this and you want to be true to this, like B-So said, listen, man, 
subs is a percentage off. Six days remaining in September. I think by the end of this, all of us guys on Twitch should at least have 500 subs. Where, where you at, Sage? How many subs you got on Twitch right now? Oh, man, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I should know that, shouldn't I? Uh, let me pull it up. Yeah, did skip me. Sub? Yeah, skip me. I do not. Be so, how many subs you got? Three thirty something. Three forty. Three thirty. Three thirty. Okay. I'm sending a hundred. I, I think I'm gonna stream it out for the next like three days. Literally subathon type shit. I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. Um. You think you could do it, that ass? Just even like a I, three day subathon, bro. Live the whole time. I swear to God, I'm telling you, I was so bored today. I was I like so extremely bored today. I don't. I I figured out the key. We're mm. just going to be doing shit that nobody enjoys. And I'm going to prove that this podcast. I was talking to Cruz about that. That really is the key. Just do shit that you don't... Just don't talk. <laughs> That's how you That's feel so hours. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Sage, how many subs you got? Oh, essentially 300. 300? I think we can all get to 500. Damo, how many subs you got on Twitter? Oh. I want to say. Is that oh, the man. reason? <laughs> Yo, y'all are sick, You want to talk about the tweet, man? You want to talk about the tweet? No, I don't. I don't What's the tweet? I don't want to talk about the tweet. The one where I cr- congratulated us three for it. Ah, triple digit sub boys in the building, man. Yeah, it's right, like, boys in yeah. the building. Nah, let's talk about the tweet. Nah, fuck that. Nah, I'm mad. <laughs> Thinking about it, let's talk about the tweet. I'm not even mad that niggas congratulated y'all. That's fine. I did my little sneaky congratulations with the Steph meme and and the cat face on the team on the winning team, but you not in the game type shit. I, you know, playing into it, having fun. Everybody, yo, Donald, make the switch, gang. Ah, ah, ah. Some random nigga. Nah, nah, what really happened? All three of them got a Twitch deal and Damo didn't. That's why you don't kick. Bitch ass nigga. I don't know who you get information from, but it's wrong. <laughs> Only two niggas up here got Twitch deals. All right, pussy. Yeah, I'm not Sage gonna say going crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sage and yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, that's know, it. I don't know who the fuck is giving you this misinformation. Sage your own All right. <laughs> This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, Sage and Omar. Yeah, yeah. You see who they say twice, all right? Yeah. Last, last so time, last time I checked, yo. our core four chat only had us core four. The fuck? Who added you niggas? Well, I did get hacked today, so it might have been that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. They trying to find your Snapchat videos that you send the news to somebody on some boxing type shit. What? Why was that the first? Okay. Because of the Logan Paul shit. Okay. Oh, I over there. for another gift of me. Oh, my boy been going crazy all day. Hold on, TSO Rage. I stream. I, I get the raid tonight, so just, <laughs> you know yes. we got a lot of we got a lot of subs on this side. Yes. Oh, no, per- person had a TTS that I missed as well for three dollars. Uh, Damo hearing these sub numbers and going, damn, 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 must be nice. nice. Streaming every day. I thought I couldn't do it. It's actually not that hard. I, I, what, I, what I figured the is, gaming shit really fills out a lot of hours. I ain't gonna, that's what I figured out. Yeah, like I could do. Re, I gotta like plan my reaction streams, like game plan because you know content shit like that. But like the gaming shit, not nah, nigga. I just load up Baldur's Gate, 2K, Pokemon, man, niggas love it. Every time. So I, what I what I figured is like what Y'all you just know. Normally... Amp Cipher listened recently wasn't too bad, and Chris really slid on that hoe. What cipher are you talking about? The AMP one. Oh, the junk that junk. Yeah, old shit, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, Chris, Chris did go cool crazy, but yeah, Chris did go crazy though. Um, what's it called? So, so what I've what I've learned is just whatever you do normally at home, like if you just spend like an hour or two, because I ain't gonna lie, I know y'all niggas just spend an hour or two watching YouTube, chilling or whatever the case may be. Cut the stream on, zib out, man. Just zib, just be on stream zibing though. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Like, four hours more than you usually do. Yeah, hey, chat. Yeah, Yo, I like that. Shit. That shit was crazy, right? Is that a W or is that an L? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Blue this man! Wait, wait. Sage, can I ask you? Let me ask you a question, Sage. Yo, you're... What makes somebody a part of the WL community? This is a good question. Oh, shit. Uh... They're counting. They're at six. Yo, fuck y'all, bro. <laughs> Yo, fuck y'all. <laughs> Yo, eat a dick, bro. Shit. Uh, you said makes... being black. Oh, my God. Shit. Well, <laughs> well. I mean, no. I mean, being black ain't far off. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. That that's a good ticket. Um, just straight up. I mean, it's not a secret. It's culture. Um, I think it's like kind of like lingo. Kind of kind of like lingo. Like if you're not in kind of mm-hmm. lingo, the games you play in the videos you react to. So like if you're watching, yeah, the, hey hey, it is what it is. Thank it's, you. 
like, bro, like real shit. It's like if you're not on the Popega Omega lol shit. I don't know if I said the words right. <laughs> I'm cool with Poggers community, by the way. But like, hey, if you're not on that kind of shit, if you're not on like all the time, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It, I, I I can't really phrase what I'm trying to say. If you use Gap, what, go ahead. If you use Gap and you watch the AMP video, that's it, man. You in there? You in WL, man? <laughs> But the poggers people be doing that shit. Not A and P videos, but they be over there trying to use Gat. Gat, it done went from W L to mainstream. It expanded. I mean, at one point in time, you could say that, but now this shit's expanded to the point to where you got white people trying to tell you what the abbreviation is for when it's not abbreviating nothing. It's crazy. They that's they done came up with an abbreviation to a word that don't have an abbreviation. That's not an abbreviation. Well, that's why there's two criteria, man. So what's what's W L V so? Um, what's well, H said, man? Just depends on the content creators that that you watch. You really think it's based off the creators you watch or the content you watch, like on stream? I not on stream because you don't have to be a streamer, but I'd say primarily. Well, what makes you a WL streamer? Not what we'll puts you in the community, but what makes you a WL streamer? I feel like there's a certain circle of like content that you watch: RDC, YRG, DEO, AMP. You know that type of shit. If that's a lot of what you watch, then Aiden even. Maybe not so much anymore. If you watch, like, Aiden's at the number one of that list, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like those types of creators, you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Type shit. Someone um, said urban demographic. That's not far off. That's, that's not, super, but that's racist. That's, 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 look, racist. Look, that's a, little, a little racist. But <laughs> it's not, it's a little, little racist, but not the worst take. A little racist. All right, man. Uh, hopefully, we have some crazy stuff going on later on tonight. But um, this is what I mean by reacting to things that you just don't care about. Slash, you've already done it before. Just got to do it again. Let's go ahead and get into it. Where's the? Uh, we need a uh, breaking news sound. Breaking news: The Dame trade is in. Oh, <laughs> Miami Heat fans rejoice. Uh, oh, <laughs> you wrong, man. No, I don't even want to do that here. Well, I mean, it is what it is. On a serious mm. note, Dame got traded to the Bucks. I'm calling it a blockbuster three-team swap. Uh, Bucks get Dame. Trailblazers get Aiton. Tamani Kamara. Mm. And Drew Holiday, 2029 first round pick from the Bucks. Two first round pick swaps with the Bucks in 2028 and 2030. Uh, the Suns get Grayson Allen, Keon Johnson, Nazir Little, and Yusuf Nurkic. Um, looks like Dame doesn't have to run from that grind anymore. I mean, he's, yeah, he already he's chilling. Yeah, he did chill. <laughs> he he did right already. Already. He's done running. He's he right shit. here. He's over here, man. He's, he's, he's there. He's um, <laughs> so, I mean, how do y'all feel? Finally, this saga is over. You know, we can get past this shit. You know, how y'all feel? Well, I genuinely think it's a win win trade. Is it a W or an L? Like, come on. Oh, what the my fuck? God. I got you. I got you. Three W's, you know, W for everybody involved type shit. Three W's all around. Um, I, I like that the fact that Dame is essentially in a perfect spot for him to be the second. Or even third option, depending on how good you feel about Chris Middleton. But not be the number one. You know, hey, I'm pushing the propaganda. He's a great <laughs> number three. Great number three behind Middleton and Giannis. So but for him to be in a situation where he can really focus on utilizing that underrated playmaking that he has and just be a way better efficient scorer, essentially being a black Steve Giannis Nash. needs all this help just to beat Malcolm Brogdon shit's sad FR. Oh, my I so. I so. Um, I, I like what. I definitely like what Portland did. They added a young big, seeing how if you traded Dame, you had to trade Nurkic. So they got them a young big. They got them some picks in the future, which those picks swap. They depending on how this um, run goes, depending on what happens with Giannis in the future, then pick swaps could. What be years of the swap? You know, because twenty twenty nine and what well, twenty twenty nine and twenty thirty, right? Uh, twenty twenty nine, I think. I know they got twenty. 20- 28, 28, 28 and 30. 28, 28, 28. Yeah, they got 29. So 28 yeah. and 30. So but essentially 28, 29, 30. You know, yeah, they got it. all three of the picks Um, if they so choose. And then, honestly, the biggest winner to me is the Suns because they added mm-hmm. much-needed depth to their bench. They added a starting caliber center. I like Nas Little. Nas Little on that, Nas Little on that team 
great for them. Um, yeah, I don't know. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like the trade. Hope you don't got to play the four over there. Um, you said who don't got to play the four? I said I hope Nazir don't got to play the four over there. We can KD play playing the four, man. What's coming off the bench? Off the bench. My fault. I, I, I was thinking out loud. My fault. My I mean, their backup four would probably be Bobo. And yeah. their backup center is um um Jacques Lindell. So I mean, they they re they shored up their bench. That was the biggest issue outside of who's going to be the point guard. Which in all actuality, when you have two premier scorers in this league who are both great secondary playmakers, who the fuck needs a real point guard at that point? You got two guys who any given night can be the lead playmaker for you so they're in a great situation i think if anything they came up they came away the best if you're looking at totality of a team but obviously that dame and Giannis duo puts them in a crazy conversation me i still don't think they're a better duo than Jokic and jamal murray but i'll leave it at that all right man let me hand out my uh w and l's okay i want to say uh w to the bucks all right Great, great trade for them. You know what I'm saying? I think they secured Giannis for a longer period of time because of this. I want to say a W to the Portland Trailblazers. Okay. okay. Um, finally hit that reset button. They can finally build around Scoot properly. I want to say a W to... Who's the other team involved? Not, that's not the Suns. Am I tripping? Not the Suns. No, that's that's two. I, I sort of got to have three I Ws. Was, I thought it was three-team trade. I thought it was a trade between the Suns, the Bucks. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. That's it. Two Ws. I want to give a L to the Miami Heat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Strength in numbers, buddy. Good luck. I want to give a L to the Celtics. There we go. There we go. I was waiting for him. Yeah, I want to give a L to the Celtics, man. I ain't going to lie. Okay. W, Can't w be a w. to the Hawks. W to the Hawks. Yeah, uh, W to the. <laughs> I'm gonna say capital, capital uh, L for now. But if we got Drew, L removed. L, L removed. removed entirely. Okay, okay. For the Celtics. No, um, no, I'm gonna let him cook. I, I go next. I go and next. then the last L goes to the Sixers, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. God, man. Yeah. One more year, and y'all, y'all also need to hit the reset button, man. I ain't gonna lie. God, it's a mess over there. It's a mess over there. <laughs> Oh, that's it. All right. Well, shit for me. Um, and everybody involved in the trade all do receive W's as well. I hate to be the boring person that echoes what the other said, but I will be more specific, I guess. Give me the capitalist biggest W to the Bucks. I'm not going to downplay it. Uh, Y'all talk about Steph and Shaq being one of your dream all time duos. You have modern day Shaq. You have the guy that wrongfully to most, but there were people saying, hey, yo, I'm seeing Prime Curry, and this guy's better. And that's the two talents that we're talking about here. That's the two play styles that we're talking about here. They have a guy like Chris Middleton as the third best scorer there. Man, fuck out of here. We're not downplaying that just because you need to see shit, especially when they're in the conference. That every team ain't even the fucking same as they were last year. So everybody's fucking different over there. So that's the size of the point. Capital W to the Bucks. Um, I'm going to give a regular case W, like cool, cool dub, to the Blazers. I don't understand the idea that people think they got fleeced. Think you're insane. Drew is not going to be there. <laughs> just, just, uh, spoiler, he's not going to stay there. Either worst case, you just don't resign him. Or best case, you flip him for another second or some picks. And hopefully you get a first out of it. You got three firsts from Milwaukee, hoping that at that point, Giannis is not. Well, how old is Giannis right now? 28, 26? If Giannis is 35 having the Bucks win championships, then the sure we can have a conversation. But other than that, Dame probably won't even be in the league by 2030. So, uh, it, dog, they're fine. That's good value. That's great value, actually. Then you added DA. Now, I know it's fun to make fun of DA, but I'm with Damo here. No cap. Hey, DA, put up a shut up, my nigga. I, I, are, are you cool? Do you work well with Scoot? And if you work well with Scoot to the point where it's like, okay, we, we like the kind of player DA is with Scoot, Let's keep Scoot. I mean, let's keep Scoot. Let's keep DA. If you like the kind of play style, but DA is some shit, all right. We know what kind of center we're looking for, but DA, you suck. Pack up. So that's a that's a fire thing to find out, 100%. Easy dub for the uh, Blazers. Lowercase dub for the Suns uh, because no cap, they had the bodies. Now, are the bodies the best players in the world? No, but <laughs> they needed players. So it's all a W regardless. Uh Capital, capital, capital L to the Miami Heat. That's just sad. Given context of what's happened to you this offseason, you desperately needed to do something. 
and you ended up not only doing nothing, but then you went on to do nothing and allow a team that was giving you the best bump, a team that you've consistently run into, Damian Lillard? Like, even if we think he's the loser and all the shit that y'all have talked about in the past, dog, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Um, lowercase L to Philly, but Philly wasn't Philly's not even truly in this conversation, in my personal opinion. Um, I was so is there, blow that shit up. And last but not least, the Celtics. I'm not, I don't even want to give y'all an L. It's just another team giving y'all for real bump now. Usually Boston's a team that get in their own way. But now there's a team that you can argue is genuinely a more well well put roster, not a better talented roster, but a more well put roster. That's just tough. I, I don't. If that's an L, so be it. But yeah, I don't think this is an L for Boston. I just think you went from now you're your own op to yeah, the Bucks might just straight up beat you. So, but I know that was long winded. My fault, y'all. No, mm-hmm. it's it's fine because that's what they. I mean, that's what I wanted to hear after they watched you stream and talk about it yesterday, and <laughs> you know, B so stream and talk about it yesterday, and then chill, gang, chill, gang, chill. Damo talk about it on Players Choice this morning. I'd be definitely the asshole if I just repeated everything y'all said. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna give a big W. To- <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give an L to the Suns. I forgot to let give me, an L to the Suns. Let me. Let me. Yeah, I'm really? gonna take a. I'm gonna take a more pessimistic approach. Just to not. Um, yeah, cool. The Bucks. You got better. Um, shouts out to you guys. Really, Giannis put his nuts on the table, um, and that's that's what flexing in a small market looks like. Yeah, shout out to Giannis. Yeah. Giannis that's definitely what, was on time, man. That's what flexing in a small market looks like. I love that from Giannis. Um, you know, and you can only do that when you you know you're popping. You did you did your thing, so hey, you deserve it. You brought a ring. Put your nuts on the table. Uh, LeBron could never. No, let me stop. Um, he couldn't do it in Cleveland. I'm sorry. No, he could, it's a different story. They should have brought a Mari Star Mari. Um, for Portland, yeah, cool moves. Yeah, cool, that's a cool move. I will say that. Please get that that monkey off your back. That is Damian Lillard. No yeah. racial. That's cool. Um, Phoenix, my God, one of the worst organizations in the NBA. Just just got off organization. They're looking hella desperate, man. I ain't gonna lie. And and it's not that's even great. about. Yeah, Ooh. it's 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 not even about necessarily the trade itself. Yeah, sure, you got players and stuff like that. So you, you needed that. Mm. Man, these niggas, I'm looking at their draft history. And Phoenix? after, yeah, Phoenix. There's like a good stretch to where like the only thing that they got for an extended period of time was Devin Booker out of that draft. Right? It was like, oh, and then it was like, what, Josh Jackson? Yeah. Uh, Dragon Bender? Don't and then they got DA. They've had some I mean, hits and misses. I mean, yeah, the guys the that they team. went to the finals with that they drafted, that was a good bunch, but they traded them to get KD. You forgot about Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, those yeah, guys were drafted by them and they were fine. Yeah. I'm not this. I'm not I'm not necessarily talking about those guys. I'm talking about the guys that they got rewarded for being losers for, which would be those those top or upper echelon picks. Yes, yes. Uh, even I think Devin Booker ended up being 13, but I'm not, I'm not talking about the guys that they uh, good smart moves trading. So the lottery uh, picture didn't work out. Mikael Bridges and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and and I'll say this because I've been making this argument on Twitter all day. I I don't necessarily think that I'm in the belief that if they had Luca instead of Da, they would have um, made it to the finals. I don't think that that would happen. It happened exactly the way that it needed to happen. It's a canon event. You know, it happened. But man, y'all should have let him go a year ago and had better outcomes. Two years ago and had better outcomes. When he when he got into a fight with Monty Williams on the bench, y'all should have been let him go. Like th- th- stuff like that is just just again mismanagement of assets. You're looking like Philadelphia over there. Um, Miami, Philly, Boston, all losers. Losers for different reasons. Pat Riley might be senile. I don't, I don't want to be that guy that gets on his case, but yo, know, Tyler Hero must have some either dirt on them or he really might be a hooper for real, for real. And we just don't know. Like he might be white Jordan in the next couple of years. And we just don't know. Or in the next couple of years, we might find out that he's like a he's like Kyle Corver with like a fade. Uh, and then we should have been saying, yeah, he should have traded him two years ago when you could have got Damian fucking Lillard and replaced Kyle Cor- uh, Kyle Lowry's co- uh, corpse. At your point guard position. I don't know. Maybe. With 75 maybe. ball handling. Well, <laughs> like, with 75 ball handling. <laughs> well, they're saying that. What the call it? 
<laughs> they're saying that the Blazers only wanted well, Cal not only... Ray Bans on. <laughs> Okay, good, good. I hate so with a Bugatti. Y'all niggas childish. <laughs> they were saying that hanging out with Tate. No, let me stop. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm gonna get my food. <laughs> I'm gonna get my food, bro. I got food to get. <laughs> Cal Corver yeah. who drinks Hennessy. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I thought you were you, you were saying. All right, go ahead. <laughs> they were saying that. The Blazers wanted Jimmy or Bam, and that's why I fell through. They wanted to trade Tyler Hero. They just wasn't willing to trade anything else other than Tyler Hero. They were saying Pat Riley didn't update the trade. Like he never called him back to update the trade and add anything to it. But the Blazers wanted Bam and Jimmy. Bam or Jimmy. And they weren't willing to give that up. Tyler Hero, they were they were welcome to give Tyler Hero up. Who is Did see the last tweet uh Bleacher Report just put up too? No. What they say? Uh let me let me pull it up just so I can get the wording right. I'm I'm gonna tell Keep you something. Me. I'm gonna tell you something right now though. What I'm about to do in 2024, I'm going to make an NBA page. I'm going to have some nice little little graphics or t- pictures and stuff like that and just start citing people that probably shouldn't be cited just for rumors and news and stuff like that. Who's going to check me? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, the tweet says Damian Lillard wanted to rescind his trade request if a deal couldn't be worked out with the Heat, but Blazers, uh, but Blazers GM Joe Cronin allegedly, allegedly responded that there was no coming back per Chris Haynes. I don't care any. Hey, hey, at this point, I ain't gonna lie. I really don't care no more. The trade has been done. All right. <laughs> I don't want to hear no more trade rumors. I want to hear about how training camp is going. Um, I want y'all to ball up. <laughs> that that I ain't even be trying to be funny. I'm dead ass too. Y'all think Dame is gonna be like, oh, I don't want to play here type shit throughout the whole season? Or is he gonna, he gonna I don't know? I, he shouldn't. This is a situation where he can compete to win. Um, I gotta see. Well, I'm not gonna say I gotta see what else Milwaukee's doing with the roster, but they gotta they gotta add a couple people. And I ain't gonna lie, who signed um Kelly Oubre? Somebody just signed Kelly. The Oubre. Sixers. The Sixers. The Sixers signed Kelly Oubre. They gotta Thank do God. something in terms of perimeter defense because I don't know what their unless Marjan Bochamp or uh, B Champ is about to be this tremendous perimeter defender for them alongside Chris Middleton. They traded away their best perimeter guy on defense, and they got Dame Lillard back, who's tremendous offensively, yet to be seeing him play great defense. But can I ask y'all, y'all are really giving Phoenix an L in this situation? It's it's To me, it's not about the situation. Again, I'm, I I like to look at the totality of teams and all this reacting mm-hmm. about the same shit that happens on a day-to-day basis. Everybody has the same reaction. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I always like to take a step back and look at how these teams have been managed. Maybe it's because I'm a Hawks fan. And maybe it's because the the uh, uh, grand outlook of my sports favoritism for this basketball team has always been like looking at the missteps that made us get here today. Mm-hmm. Um, they mismanaged DA. They did. Fair. And yeah. and truly, what's been going on these past couple of seasons, like Biso said, it's just hey, let's just let's just get desperate. Let's just get desperate, and hope that we get lucky. And now we have our eggs in this big basket. And so in about two, three years, I'm not going to lie, they'll probably be screwed as hell, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, 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 Bradley Beal will probably be not good or gone. Um, Chris, Kevin Durant will probably be gone, you know, maybe, you know, because he's just old. And then they'll just be left with like these high bills, these high tax bills that they've been paying for the past couple of years and their team won't be good. And if they don't want to ring out of this, It'll just be, hey, these were just super, super crazy desperate moves as opposed to, like, trying to build out a team. Um, but it's been like that for the past couple of years. And it's because they could not build a team, right? So when they could not build a team, I'm talking about through the Dragon Bender years, the three-point guard lineup, the three undersized guard lineups. Mm-hmm. Y'all remember them, the Josh Jackson, all that stuff. When they were like, you know, we can't build a team. So let's make, let's do the flip of that, and let's just buy a team to the craziest degree. But it's and the then I get that. Still, I think Outlook, I think when people go into and buy something, right, Mm -hmm. because they got a new owner. Well, they only recently got a new owner. They were still in the trajectory of buying a new team. But I'm saying, even the owner before that, I want to say he, it was a different, maybe not a different owner, but maybe the front office, the front office definitely is different from the years where we were in high school, whatever, and fresh out of high school, where they had three guard lineups, and then it was Devin Booker tanking, it was the tanking years, and Devin Booker putting up empty stats and all that. They just recently became a competitive team, 
and this isn't even one of those situations where it's like, okay, you were only competitive for like I forgot who like we were talking about the Pistons last pod. I want to say it was, but you were only competitive for three, uh, three to four years out of twenty. Other than that, you just been mis mismanaging, mismanaging, mismanaging assets. With them, I mean, the mid two thousands, late two thousands, they were good. In the mid 2010s or whatever, they sucked a little bit. Had a couple years where they were at least fun to watch. Like those three guard lineup teams, obviously they weren't about to win nothing, but I mean they weren't bottom feeders. They won some games, but then they were trash. Then they went to the finals. Like they 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 drafted well. At I want to say at a certain point in time, whenever they started drafting the Cam Johnsons, Mikael Bridges, uh, DeAndre Ayton, someone fact checked me. That might have been a different management group because there's no way you just go from drafting straight duds. To now you're hitting on your picks and drafting reliable players that end up getting you to the finals. It was like a if you look at their draft history, it's a stark different stark difference between the players they were drafting when it was around the Devin Booker, Dragon Bender, Josh Jackson era, and then drafting the guys that was with them in the 2021 finals. And if I'm wrong, feel- I'm wrong, I'm just talking. But please check me. It just feels like to me the 2021 run happened. They made it to the finals, almost won the thing, and then 2022 everything just felt like it was collapsing. They were able to get KD, and ever since then, it's just been a desperation of trying to get as much star power on the team as possible without much regard for depth. And now they're at a point where they're comp- compensating and trying their hardest to get depth now that they realize it's a problem. When in reality, it's like the core of their team was built without like fit in mind at all, and it was just, yo, who's the biggest star we can get right now? And we'll figure it out as we go, which I'm personally not a fan of. And I've been ad- adamant on that with other teams as well. I feel, I feel like this conversation is appropriate for a team that does this by the season. So they get Kevin Durant year one. Then year two, they get Bradley Beal. Then year three, they're trying to get all the talent to replace them. Then, sure, I'd probably be on their head. But considering this is all over the span of a season, an off season, even, I can't. I can't, I can't get on their head and call it an L. They're literally showing you their hand. They're showing you their cart, and they're all in on a championship. And if that comes off as desperate, they also have a very, very, very counter escape. They, they can literally say, okay, you know what? Fuck it. These guys just fucking flop. These guys just ain't them. They're not him. Katie, you're done. Bill, you're done. Book, you're probably staying. But, uh, and, and they can get the compensation back for these guys. Granted, it wouldn't be the equal compensation, not even close. Well, maybe in Bill's case, if Bill was disgruntled, it depends on how shit breaks down. But I, I don't I don't hate this like I hated the, what the Lakers did or what the Nets did because, again, the Lakers were going down a pattern of six men of the year. Fuck it, then let's get Russ. That's stupid. But this is a one season thing where they're going all in on our, you know what? What if we just create like unstoppable offense and it got it shown in teams that granted didn't win like the 2018 Rockets, not even too long ago. But um, it, it's it's something that I'm necessarily not mad at. I just want I, I think I have to see this play out for multiple seasons and they continue doing this. Like if they go uh, pack up Nazir Little, they pack up uh, Bowl Bowl and other players for like another starter. I'm with y'all because at that point it's like, all right, bro. Now, now y'all feel willing to put keep it a buck on the bench and trying to say we're gonna win a chip with the five and play 48 minutes. And at that point, all right, bro, it didn't work last year. Like, what are you doing? But well, even mm. uh, real quick, just even with what you said though, I think the biggest parallel or the the closest parallel would be the 2021 Nets with when they traded for James Harden. And I'm gonna be honest, even back then, I was actually uh, on the unpopular side of saying like, yo, I didn't really fuck with that that move because they had a lot of continuity before um, James Harden was brought onto the team and they were actually performing well. Yeah. And what happened with the Nets was, yo, let's try to get as much star power as possible. Let's try to hey, build the greatest offense that we can by the playoff time because they built around James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie. Injuries started happening. Players weren't able to play games. And now I'm looking at the Suns roster. They're building around Bradley Beal. They're Andrew. building around the same Kevin Durant. And then they traded DeAndre in for an injury prone center in use of Nurkic. That'd be that'd be a great point if unfortunately the Harden situation, I mean the net situation isn't a weird one. And granted, granted, y'all gonna call this Mickey, but the context is quite literally that Kyrie Irving is Kyrie Irving, quite literally injuries as well. And also, like like Ky- Kyrie Irving literally, for example, just because y'all don't think i'm slandering Kyrie when i say this Kyrie just randomly just like wasn't fucking with shit he just wasn't fucking with it they were apparently disgruntled in the locker room unless i'm mistaken and that's a year after but i wanted to say he wasn't rocking with how harden was moving then let alone harden got hurt 
But prior to that, they were balling. They, they were 100% balling. They pushed the Bucks to seven, I want to say. And that was with Harden on one leg. Kyrie wasn't in him. Kyrie wasn't playing. And they still got the seven games against the guys that eventually ran, won the championship. I think if in this situation, Bradley Beal hasn't shown any reason to just not like basketball and not want to play basketball, it, I haven't seen that from Kevin Durant this entire time. And I haven't seen that from, who's the third guy? Devin Booker, remotely. If anything, people get on Devin Booker for talking too much shit because he loves basketball that much. So I think it's a different situation here. But um, that's I, I see what you're going for. But then mm-hmm. again, if if the Suns were letting Devin Booker and let's say <laughs> it wouldn't be D.A. here. If the Suns are letting Devin Booker and Katie run their front office, then I'm with you. It'd be a parallel to the Nets. But I think this situation is vastly different. I mean, even if you look at and you can compare another team that made a drastic move for a star player, gutted their team in the middle of the season. Look at how the Mavericks roster is looking compared to how the Suns roster is looking. The Both these teams gutted their rosters to get guys from the same exact team to try to help their young star propel and try to build around them. Look at what both those teams did this offseason. This offseason, the Suns have moved tremendously better and definitely put way better talent around their core group of guys than the Mavs did. If you look at the Mavs, they added Grant Williams. They drafted De- uh, Derek Lively. And who else is on the Mavericks? Who else is over there? They got Jaden, they right? They got, they got Jaden. Jaden Hardy. Yeah, they got Jaden Hardy. No, 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 no. They didn't add him. They had him before. Yeah, they they had just him. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of getting guys to add to this, because, again, you gutted your team. Both these teams gutted their teams. You seen mm-hmm. the Suns in the playoffs, and it was like, all right, this is kind of an asterisk because these motherfuckers traded half their team to go get Kevin Durant. With the Mavs, they traded half their team to go get Kyrie. So what are you going to do this offseason to load up after doing that? The Suns loaded up. They they got they got players for each position. They got depth. They got plenty of. I just looked at the roster. Plenty of fucking forwards, combo forwards, power forwards, tweener center power forwards. They got plenty of forwards. They got guard depth. They they put guys behind their stars. So even if a guy like Nurkic, who I want, I, I don't want to say injury prone any or injury problems. Looking at his recent playing history, anybody that can give you damn near two thirds of the season played and didn't make the playoffs, I can't say has injury history. And really, two only times in his career was two seasons out of the last, what, he's played seven, eight, and only two of them really was glaring injury problems. Well, the second season in his career. But I, I'm not going to say he's injury prone yet. But still, even with that, you still added other guys too. So I can't I can't be too mad at the Suns or say they're doing what, what the Nets did. With the Nets, it was genuinely, okay, you got Kyrie, you got Hardy, you got KD, and you got let's keep it a buck with them. Like who else was – who else was on those Nets teams after they traded for James Harden? They had Nick Claxton. I think they did. They still have Bruce Brown. I think they they did right. At what, one the point, Nets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, talking about that one season before Harden? Yeah, they had they had some time. No, no, when they got Harden. No, when, when, they, Harden, when they got Harden. He's talking yeah. about Joe, Joe oh. Harris, Bruce Brown, Blake mm-hmm. Griffin, Landry Shamit, Nick Claxton, Tyler Johnson, Jeff Green, Mike James, Chris Chioza was playing. And that was um, post Harden trade. That yeah. Post-Harden that's trade. a that's yeah. a lot of. It's a lot of good pieces. I don't. That's what I was no, saying. There's no. There's well, no. Well, they were old. They're a, old. They're old. There's they're no old, way you're saying old. that's a lot of good pieces. And Joe Harris, Nick L. Claxton, and Joe Harris was a bum that year. Go look at what Joe Harris did. He was a bum. He was a bum that year. Joe Harris was okay, so let me, let me ask. Who's Brown and Merge? That's fine. But if you're gonna sit there and say the Suns is an L with the talent they have, but you hear that Nets roster, you're like, well, that's some good names. Just say you don't. Just say you're biased towards the Suns, or you don't like Kevin Durant, or you don't like Brandon or Bradley Beal. Because that's crazy. Yeah, because Landry Sham, it was Joe Harris was cool that year. What are we talking about? Joe, Joe Harris was Joe awful in the playoffs. In 2021, Joe, 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 Joe Harris in the playoffs in 2021 20. averaged 11 points on 11, on 10 shots, and uh, the three point percentage was 40. Where, so where, I think that's what you want. But your, your, your chart looks like you, Joe Harris being about, Harris. I don't know. Maybe but you're talking about you're talking about one you're talking about one series that made that sage, and that was after Kyrie went down and uh, what's his name went down as well. In the regular season, to be fair, in the regular season, Joe Harris was playing re- rather well. But I and then in that and then in that but I'm, and then in that Celtic series, he played good as well. And then the I'll next series that. where he had to, I'm looking at it right now. And the next mm-hmm. series where he had to step up because two guards went down. I mean, it was playing. It was it was him playing out of like a role that he could really play. So. Yeah, we're talking about 21. Yeah, in Boston, he went on to, because I am not a person that just hides facts. Joe Harris well, actually was balling the, next year. Ball, it was the, ball next year the fuck year. out in Boston. Yeah. Balling so the fuck I'm out in Boston. That was 13 yeah. on. Um, it was just that it was that one series where they were like, he disappeared. But literally, it was. I'm not going to lie. That whole Nets team was yeah. cooking us in that first round. It was yeah. Their season yeah, ended that second round. So it is literally based off of one series and he played out yep. deficiencies. Mm. So I do want to ask Domo, because he, he was talking about the Suns' depth. 
are you saying that they have good depth from the perspective of like in like just period point blank? Or they have good depth for a team that has no cap space to work with type shit. For a team that was in that situation after they made those moves, my whole thing was, yeah, you got the names, but what are you going to do to fill out the rest of your roster? And I did not think they were going to be able to do anything unless they traded DA for some type of depth. They already were kind of, they had me like, eh, before they made this deal. And it was like, okay, let's just see how it works. After making this deal, I feel like they have viable options at each position. Like after you go from a starter, the backup player outside of, Again, the point guard position is the only position where it's like, all right, they don't have a guard. Yeah, but at the, same no time, at the same time, shit, you can stagger the minutes of Bradley Bill and Devin Booker, and both of those guys can be your ones. And it's no issue with that because they're both good playmakers. They're not bad playmakers. They're well, both underrated playmakers. Can I can I can I get back to my original point? Go ahead. Yeah, because I think I, I think we're well far off from my original point at this point in time. So there's there's teams in the league that constantly get lottery picks, whether it been the past three years or. Hell, even if we're looking at like a 10 year scope um, that I've seen mismanage like a lot of their fucking assets and a lot of the guys on their team don't last, you know, more than maybe four years, five years. And mm-hmm. I don't personally believe it's because some of them are bad. Some of them could be bad, you know, just NBA players or whatever the case may be. Everybody isn't working, but I think it's a fit thing. And so you you drafted D.A. over Luka Doncic, over Trey Young, over whoever else was in this draft. And then you hire Monty and bring in Chris Paul and essentially establish a system of like a pick and roll big. But the allure of DA wasn't that he was just a pick and roll big. If you were really managing your assets, I I personally thought I would have gotten rid of that player um, a long time ago to to get up more assets. And you can say, sure, you know, they they didn't need to. They got a finals appearance, et cetera, et cetera. But we can also say that they definitely held on to that guy for way too long. And I understand that you say it's, it's over a course of like two different management groups, but when one management groups comes group comes in to replace another management group, is mm-hmm. because one got fired because they weren't doing a job. They had a path, they had a direction that they were going in that wasn't clearly working. So what happens quite often, and this is just you know working at jobs, is that the other one is brought in because the ownership group or whoever else wants to see you go in a total different direction. Hey, we're not working building this way. We're going to go building this way. Now, it's a conversation about owners and personalities and stuff like that. But I just know that there's a bunch of teams who mismanage assets, and I would mark the Suns to be one of those teams. They, they made a couple of good decisions over those years that I'm talking about. But overall, like these niggas have squandered picks, like truly. I'm about to say, if you want to say in a vacuum, the trade wasn't an L for the Suns, that's fine. But... I don't know. I'm just looking at how the Suns have been managing their whole team, and I'm just I'm just not a fan of it. You know what I'm saying? The, whole, the I've never been a fan of the whole, especially in today's era, the whole stacking the deck for like a bunch of stars and minimal depth. You know? But. Do you? So y'all figured that they were getting adequate like trade compensation for DeAndre Ayton? Like teams were calling and offering viable deals for DeAndre Ayton over the course of the last two years. Or do you think this was a situation where they finally got a deal where they felt it was worth getting rid of DeAndre Ayton and, and it made sense? I can't I can't say who was calling or whatever the case may be last year, even if that's how they searched it. But what I can say is his perceived value uh, a couple years ago was higher than his perceived value is uh, yesterday or whatever the case Based may off be. what? Based off of who he is as a player. And I can, you could say he's gotten better over the years, but more importantly – how how the public views the interaction in public, but you know, sometimes the people that are in these other uh, uh, leadership positions in office are just as much public as we are. But mm-hmm. how they perceive his interaction with Suns ownership, management, and coaching staff is. So you might be balling, but when I visibly see you arguing with your coaches more than two times in like not just regular season basketball games, but playoff basketball games me oh you got a troublemaker on your hands but i know you're willing to get up off that dude for pennies on a dollar but who's relaying the message that like i'm trying to figure out with the public perception how do we know how like how do you know that his value was so much higher two years ago like like, i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out if we're not going to say that if you if you have no way of knowing that teams are trying to give viable deals or viable trade uh compensation to get da two years ago because for the last two years everybody was saying he needed to be traded how do we know that this wasn't finally a situation where you finally got value worth trading them? Because if you trade them for pennies on a dollar, you're going to look crazy. And then we have situations where the public, we view a player 
as having X amount of value, whatever. Then he gets traded, and you're like, well, damn, y'all traded him for two role players and four second round picks. That's it. Or another guy gets traded, and you're like, damn, he's worth that much. They traded for when Rudy Gobert got traded. I was like, I did not think Rudy was worth that fucking much, but shit, I guess he is. But that's public perception. I, so how how do we know? Well, well, over the last two years, teams were genuinely giving the Suns something worth trading for last year or the year before that. We'll we'll never know, but and mm-hmm. we'll never know that they didn't. But what I can say, just based off of what I've seen, and I don't think anybody can argue this, we saw them arguing on the bench multiple times. I think in multiple playoff games as well. Uh, snippets post game, post elimination, not going to the end of season uh, uh, press conference, et cetera, et cetera, which usually is a sign of a disgruntled star. And when asking other stars on the team or players on the team about said star, there's been cryptic messages. So that sounds like some disgruntled locker room shit, right? Which at that point, I think a lot of people would say, hmm, hey, you know what? I think that there's a problem there. You might be willing to get off of this dude for less than you were before. That's what I would think. I just, I don't know. I, I struggle with the overall, and maybe that specific point is valid. I just struggle with the overall message that they didn't um, convert well here and probably made their team more promising in the future. That's the Laura. Good shot, yes, not a lord. Mind you, that's yeah. not that's not my point. That's not okay. my point. All right, all right. So yeah, I'm about to say they literally I'm got drive. Yusuf Nurkic, and if their biggest competition for like the entire West is Nikola Jokic, I'm not saying by any means will Nurkic be able to guard him. But if you're gonna go from DA to Nurk, as well as pick up a guy like Grayson Allen, as well as pick up a guy like Nazir Little, at at the floor, if you think DA is himothy against guarding Jokic, which is just factually incorrect, I don't think that's anywhere near a downgrade. I'd argue that's just straight up upgrade. But I just feel I like for their expectations, the there's yeah. a lot of like, there's too many ifs for a championship caliber. Like, we want a championship this next season type of team. With like, how is how is D Book and um Bradley Beal gonna be at point? Can Kevin Durant be a a good de- to great defender for them? Is Nurkic gonna be healthy for them? Is Def gonna be like? There's so many like ifs, bro, for a team that really wants to gun for a championship. It's like. Jesus. That's is for. Uh, I, I guess my biggest problem. But that's a lot, bro. I guess my biggest saying, problem with my stance is. is I'm not. I'm not trying to be a, a a Twitch chat or anything like that. And I promise you, this isn't a Laker fan thing coming out. But my problem is, you're like the complete. You're you're a fan of a team that's like the complete seesaw inverse of the situation, and both of you are probably in the same amount of question marks. Like Boston is a team that has done nothing but for the past 10 years, arguably, reserve the idea of picks are too valuable, of the idea that our co-stars are too valuable, our role players too valuable, and as a result, we're going to do nothing, and you've rounded up in the same exact spots for almost a decade. So I, I just have a I, I just don't see how you see it this way because the same questions even for your team coming into the season is going to be, all right, can KP really bang down with Giannis? Because I get he's tall, but this ain't 2K. Giannis might really form and either, God forbid, truly, but though, hurt him. If not, just move around him because he's he, he can't keep up with him. Like, you're going to have to play the game so methodical where Al Horvath's going to have to pick him up and you're going to pray for KP blindside blocks. I don't know how, how effective Rob that's Rob Williams be. not on their team no more? Rob Williams on their team, but Rob Williams is another motherfucker who's never there. <laughs> so like, like like that's like I can't if bring that healthy. up. If he's healthy, that's the second question right then and there. Third question is if Point KP's Tatum healthy. is Point Tatum going to be your most valuable thing? Because I can see a lineup where Point Tatum is probably bringing out the best of Boston, but is he truly at that level where hey can Tatum on Point? Are we still going to have to run Marco Brogdon when people one minute love him and the next minute eight? So there's hella questions with Boston as well, and they've been the exact opposite in the situation of hey we're going to stand pack, we're going to keep our drafted players, we draft relatively well. But we're gonna not. We're not gonna force anything. We're not gonna push anything to the table. We're gonna trust our drafted players. So I just think there's definitely a medium there. I think the teams that have accomplished it have definitely accomplished said medium. But it's just hard for me to think that like you on the opposite end just don't see the vision in any way, shape, or form. Especially when I'm looking at the Suns roster and I'm like, it's truly not that bad. They're probably they're probably like a good point guard away, maybe a good perimeter defender away because no defense is insane. But they're probably like they're probably one asset away from being a team that I ain't gonna lie. And I think the Lakers are underrated. I think people are acting like Denver ain't probably gonna pop out that bitch again. But at that point, I'm gonna be like, oh shit, Phoenix is live. Oh, don't don't get it twisted. Every single um thing that you said about the Celtics, I am concerned about. 
So it's not like a one-way street. I am concerned about the depth. I was concerned about Kristaps Porzingis' health as we got him. Rob's health has always been a concern. Point Tatum. Listen, there's a reason why I wanted to draw on the squad. Okay? Um, yeah. I, I, I also said it earlier in the stream. I am biased against the Suns. So. <laughs> There it is. But enough, so who do you got, who who's your finals favorite? Who's your championship favorite yeah, going good. into the season? What team do you have? If you had to pick one, who do you think is going to win the ship? If I had to pick one, mm-hmm. um, Nuggets repeat. Nuggets repeat. Nuggets repeat. And even then, I feel like that's the safest bet on terms of a team with the least amount of ifs. But even with them, is still, I mean, the perception of them is they got worse with the guys yeah. that they lost, losing Bruce Brown and replacing him with who? Yeah. I'm trying who? to think. Hoping Charlie Brown fucking it? develops. Who did they like, get? I, they, I, I Brown forgot. Um, <laughs> yeah, who did they, did get? they get? Anyone? They got oh, somebody. Paul Watson. I, the, the Paul Looking Watson. What you call it? Niggas was talking about Paul Watson. Who the fuck is Paul Watson? But that's who Nuggets. If you ask Swiper, yo, Paul Watson is about to fucking pop off. Like, all right, buddy. <laughs> if Paul Watson pops off, I guess. Uh, Reggie Jackson. They got Reggie. They got Justin Holiday. Yeah, if Reggie Jack, no, they got Reggie Jackson last year. He oh yeah, they've been Reggie. Shit. Yeah, they've yeah, been so Justin Reggie Holiday Jackson. Too. So Justin, Justin, and then yeah, on. if Justin fucking Holiday is yeah. the guy that puts them over the edge, it, like <laughs> outside of that, he's just they lost Christian Brown, and they're gonna hope that the rest of that guys just stay a course. So that's the safest. Oh, they got Jay Huff on a two way. I ain't gonna lie, they're my favorite. Not gonna lie. Nah, you're I'm sick. With, I'm with Jay Huff. You know, how, <laughs> hey man, the streets know how I feel about. You've been Huff. fucking with Jay. I, Huff, I, I think also it, it comes with the prediction that I have for like the Suns inevitable type. Sh- like I have them as a second round exit. Like I'm gonna be honest, mm-hmm. and if they make it to the conference finals, it's gonna be an overachievement type shit. So I'm looking at all of this investment that they're making for them to peak at a second round exit. I just think it's like, ugh, man. I think niggas mm-hmm. might kill us if we don't note that Damo was like. Nurkic injury because was that isn't that what you just said? Nurkic health. What do we what do we question Nurkic's health for? I'm saying who is questioning Nurkic's health? I, I think everybody is. If you let if you let Sage yeah, slide bit. with Rob Williams, then I'm gonna have to challenge you on saying niggas ain't questioning Let's Nurkic's say, health. Sage's point was I'll Rob d- Williams I'll isn't double there. What are you talking about? Yeah, my point was that Boston guys question like marks too. I don't. No, no, here. I I under I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying if you if you're gonna question if you're not gonna yeah, question Nurk- Nurkic's health, then uh-huh. and let Sage slide with his, then that's disingenuous. This nigga Nurkic How hasn't is he hasn't played sixty games in four seasons, dog. Okay, so what? Let me ask you, what is two thirds of eighty two? It can be fifty something, but that doesn't matter. He hasn't it's played like fifty six. Yeah, that, that's perfect. If you can fine. give me two, okay, whoa, me, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, and I said this earlier, but no, no, hold on. I said it earlier. Me personally, if you can give me two, if a if player is giving me two thirds of the season, especially if he, his team didn't go to the playoffs, I'm not about to sit there and question his health. You play two thirds of an 82 game season. I'm not, I'm Damo, not mad at that. Come that's fine. He did that one time in the last four seasons. In the last four seasons, he did that one time. Cool. Before oh, that, man. I mean, I'm going to do I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that the lo- before this he had two seasons where he definitely was hurt, but before that he was relatively healthy. Damo, and you did that because you said that. No, you know you're looking at it. I no, acknowledge this. Wow. Yeah, 52, 52, I acknowledge that, Omar. Sage, this is Sage are you looking at him though? Are you I've looking at him? I've been at it because I was confused. I've been yeah. looking at it and no, I said no, that no, because you said you said, said exactly. you said okay. If you're gonna talk, about it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. You you're said, not listening. You're just waiting to talk. No, I said I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm he's listening to you. Two thirds of the season, he had two seasons where he did not, where he genuinely did not play a lot, and he had one other season which was his second year where he didn't play a lot. Other than that, he played relatively two thirds of the season. What the fuck are we talking about? Relatively, I Damo. I'm yes, looking, relatively two thirds. Right, I can't talk. Fuck it. It's cool. What are we doing? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, thank you, chat. Because niggas in the chat are saying I said it, so obviously it was her. It's cool. It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can't I can't say nothing in no way, so it doesn't matter. It, it's oh. true. <laughs> niggas, don't regular... even, niggas don't even niggas don't even know if I want to be right or not right or what I'm gonna say because I can't I'm say nothing. Being right or not right, you're just no, not I'm... listening, and it's fine. If you're not, no, gonna listen to me, I haven't I said anything. I haven't said anything. There's I could be acknowledging that. There's nothing to say. I could literally be acknowledging that you're right. Call me disingenuous about what Sage said when you're wrong about what Sage said. I don't even know how I'm being disingenuous about that. What I'm being disingenuous about. That's fine, bro. If I can't talk, that's fine. We can keep it going. That's fine. Damn, man. Some of the drama on this podcast lately, though. I was finna say the nigga. Was, I, I was finna say the nigga was right, but it don't. It, it truly it don't matter. I, I can't even get it off. It, don't, it truly don't matter at this point. 
Jesus. Okay. For context, I, chat, two thirds is 54 games. Oh my God. Peter B with the 20 gifted. Oh, Why can't Peter we? Peter B with the one third of the season right now. Oh, Damn, Peter. Shout to Peter, man. Shout and ladies and gentlemen, Peter. we are now at 1,200. So. Oh, yeah, I got the same shit in my stream. If you ain't got a sub at this point, LRNG. Twelve. Yeah, that's not you. That's just because you're not there. Let me just uh, get this stat out just for those watching that can put two thirds. A number two at two thirds would be roughly 54, 55 ish games. It's literally a decimal. So 54 to five games. Nurkic has played in the past two seasons, 56 in 52. Prior to he had 37 in eight, obviously significant injuries. Um if we're comparing to Robert Williams, he has one of 35, the other of 61. So whatever side that helps you with. Yo, this poll is nasty, bro. Is Omar gaslighting? I know. <laughs> and I, Omar yes. gaslighting. I couldn't even say anything. That's a crazy poll. The fact that I could not even say anything. Got Jesus the for the Christ. Now that's crazy. That's crazy. You think he was gaslighting? I, I couldn't even say anything. I, nobody knows what my point wait, is. Listen, man, you got the floor now, man. No, I, I can't. I promise you, I, I'm not going to start just to get cut off. If this is the way they argue on player's choice, I don't know how they get anything done over there. This is absolutely crazy. Dang. I don't know. This I is didn't the, say all that. I didn't say all that. Either. I'm saying all that. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> That's all. Shit. I kind of respect what they got going on over there. I ain't going to lie. They got I do, things. too. Right. Listen, Skip and Stephen A worked for so many years. Oh, my. <laughs> um. Anyway, take it away, b -Souls. <laughs> I'm, I'm changing the us. Uh, so I'll go. Keep riffing. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, take it away, Sage. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Fuck. That's what I knew I had to do. I knew I forgot something. I won Mississippi. To ah, uh, shit. Uh, ooh, ooh, get back to me, boy. I ain't gonna lie. Nope. Yeah. Take it I'm away, Namo. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. No cap. This is crazy. Okay, All right, man. I ain't gonna lie. Go. I really wanted to ask this question, and this can be something really quick. I just wanted to know how do y'all feel about this. And what would y'all do? <clears throat> sorry. Okay. No way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no way. Oh, no. Please. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, no, I got I, my I, topic, I, man. I can go. No, I got way. you. I got you. I got my no, topic, too. I got my topic. I got my topic. I got my topic. It's on me. It's fine. So listen. I got my topic now. I found it. I forgot where it was. God, don't, don't group, do this, bro. A group of guys go. You and a group of friends go out. Uh, I'll go out to eat or whatever. You and a group of friends go out to eat. You pay the tab. You pay the tab and everything. Everything's fine. You pay the tab. How long are you expecting that group of friends to pay you back? Chad, he stole my topic. He stole my topic. I want y'all to know that, bro. I got still something he wasn't prepared for. Oh, I was. I was. I was changing the sub goal, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Should have been more prepared. It's actually a real life situation. Why would I expect them to pay me back? What are we talking about? That's a fact. So, so the situation is you offered to pay. You pay, and then you're like, "When do I ask for the money I'm, back?" I'm gonna give you two scenarios. Okay, one yeah. that that that's the first scenario. Scenario one: you and a group of friends go out. The bill comes. You like, "Hey y'all, don't worry about it. I got it." You 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 offer. You tell everybody you got it. Cool. Bam. You pay it. Mm -hmm. How long are you expecting people to pay you back? Oh, if you say, "Don't worry about it. I got it." You a hoe. Mm -hmm. If you ask for the bread, what are we doing? Yeah, so you, you, you said you're gonna you pay. Hoe, so you ask for bread. Never. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying you back. Yeah, I'm not paying you back. Got it, got it. Okay. Second scenario. Y'all eat everything. The bill comes. Motherfuckers start patting their pockets. Yeah. Okay. Niggas, the, the pocket pats. The the shit. Hey, gang, I ain't gonna lie, man. Xbox just hit the cash app. I I didn't know. I didn't know Apple Music was about to hit me today. I, I usually have my shit locked. It wasn't locked because I knew we was eating. I ain't got it. Now you pay. How long do you expect the niggas to pay you? You still a hoe because you gotta you gotta you try to be super nigga. You speak your mind. <laughs> You tell them, you tell the niggas, yo, I'm gonna need that back real quick. But if you just see niggas, don't worry, I got it. And you think, all right, super nigga, appreciate it. But like, if you, if you, uh, if you, if you tell them niggas, hey, no okay, cap, I ain't the richest nigga, but I got y'all, bro, I got y'all, but I'm gonna need that back. All right, back. Yeah. Then at that point, you swipe that shit. But if you just do it, all right, all right, super nigga, fuck out of here. Okay, in that, in that second scenario, it's all right, I got y'all for the night, but like, pay me back type shit. How long? How long would it take out to? I'm say, so okay, so, so to yeah. Okay, so at, at that point, all right, I, I'm, I'm literally just any holes that. <laughs> all right, yeah, no, no, I didn't want to be a dick. I'm, I'm truly <laughs> not. All right, so <laughs> I told them I need that back. They say, yeah, no cap. Niggas get paid every two weeks. 
where the fuck was we that I can't get mine in the first week <laughs> is a major question because at that point I'm like, where the fuck are we at? But I say a week. I say at that point, I ain't get my shit back in a week. All right, nigga. It, it was a chick, it was a four count nugget. <laughs> you got a four for four for Wendy's, four. nigga. You got a four for four for Wendy's, nigga. That shit was five dollars, bro. You bought mad another day. What you got going on, twin? Like, you're like, nah, nah. At that point, I ain't going like that. There's a couple situations in real life, too. I, niggas, I, hey, I need my money. I'm not my answer lie. is, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, second scenario, no cap, niggas getting the pocket pats and all that, and I end up paying, even if I don't say, hey, gang, I got it, don't worry, even if it. Even if I don't say that or, yo, just pay me back. I'm not going to expect you to pay me back. Oh, I will pay you next, back. Ne- next time, lunch is on you, nigga. Then, hey, next next time we eat is on you. Next time we kicking it, nigga, the four for four is on you is what I'm expecting. Now, if you hit me with the, oh, I ain't got it. Well, shit, I don't know what you about to eat. Cause I'm, yeah. I'll actually amend my sentence. It's a week max unless next time we go out you you already told me next time we go out i got it then i bet i don't give a fuck because i'm gonna just take you as a, i'm gonna take your word for it and if you lie there all right bro you man that i can't trust three days that's my Dang. answer three days man the day after okay if you forgot it's the day after second day i'm gonna text you yo can you pay me back and if you say i got you tomorrow all right i'm gonna wait till tomorrow after that now, you should have paid me back by that point so my answer Dang. is three days but, but if they didn't pay you back you gonna block them I need my money back. What the fuck? Damn! So, what, what you about to do, my boy? I'm gonna say if you don't get it, every day, <laughs> not, not Hyman Miller. I'm, look, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. There is a threshold of like, okay, if it's five dollars, I'm gonna just let it slide, type shit. But if it's like twenty, thirty, and I know you, I'm gonna have to like go to your house, type shit. Like, oh my god! Oh my! You knocking on the door for twenty? You knocking on the door for the twenty? You? Hey. I'm gonna keep calling. Hey, I, at the very least, I'm gonna keep calling killer. you. I'm gonna I'm keep spamming <laughs> you. You know, you know I'm gonna blow up your phone type shit, and then like you know, if I that ass you, you're just avoiding me at that point. Okay, I'm gonna have to you know just you're politely, yo, <laughs> uh, you owe me money. You know, Herman Miller is crazy right now. Now what? Now, now, now say it. <laughs> Say it's me right now. What if I don't answer the door? Where we go from there? Oh shit! Now that's that's a real no, conversation. What if I don't? No, what no, no. Don't I don't the door answer the, the door. Yeah, yeah, what if I don't answer the door? You know that nigga home. He don't answer. You the just see me sign online. Mm. I don't answer the door though. What? I'll change the PayPal password, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. I've been changing a lot of passwords today, so uh... <laughs> keep it keep it a hundred. You know you, you you know which friends aren't gonna pay you back, right? Like you that's know which friends. Low key. Yeah. That's tough. Y'all need to get those friends. I, 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 I was just trying to talk. I was like, I don't, I don't have those friends. I mean, um, I, on, honestly, I the right who... answer is to only pay for people that you actually know is going to pay you back. That's the right answer. Damn, if somebody we want to bring up back? all these what ifs to the damn no, no, question, no, no, no. you can, you can pay for it. You can pay for people that you know that aren't going to pay you back. Just know you aren't going to get it. You're not getting that back, Just understand you are being generous. This is charity. You don't think only. I think at this point, only one of my niggas. I feel like if I spent some bread on it, wouldn't pay me back. Okay, but what if it is the friend that you thought would pay you back and it's taking them a minute? What's like? Okay, this is too long type shit. He down bad. If I know it's the friend that's going to pay me back and something's going on, he's down bad. So honestly, at that point, it's even more charity. Like. I know you needed to eat for real, for real. And mm-hmm. we're we just not going to discuss it because maybe your manhood is getting in the way of saying something, but I don't know. So it is what but it if is. But if it was somebody that, even if it wasn't somebody that you did or didn't know that could pay you back, wouldn't it take a situation where that person either didn't pay you back or you seen them or heard of them not paying somebody else back for you to know that they aren't able to pay it back? Like how, outside of, I guess, bad spending habits or you know this person is bad with money, how would you know somebody wasn't going to pay you back if you have that type of friend? Wouldn't it take an example? No, right. not necessarily. I, I look at how you moving. If every time we go out and you trying to get the the dollar cheeseburger in the water cup, like I know, I know what's going on here. And, and <laughs> Based off the order. Every time, every time okay. we every time we talk about getting food, you recommending like Wendy's when everybody's like, yo, I mean, let's yo. <laughs> every time we go out and you recommend Applebee's and other niggas is trying to figure out, yo, like we can go to like I don't know, Roof Chris or something like that. You talking about Applebee's? Ah uh, nah, that means you're on a different type of time. So I know you're not gonna pay back. You want pay... cheesecake again? Sorry, yeah, that's yeah, like I, I, you know, I'm not gonna... but the other friend that's normally talking about the same places, getting the same type of meals or whatever the case may be. If they don't do it, oh, I already know what type of time. It's, it's something going on. It's something going on in your life. I pay for the food, man. So they pay back when they're ready, or 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 not, not at all. all. I, not at all. I'm really, saying. really, I'm more concerned about what's going on with you at that point, like. You so you want to want your that. money back, like in any scenario, that ass? 
I don't give money out expecting to get it back. However, I, it's a respect thing for most niggas that I give my money to. My personal opinion. Damn, it depends man. on how you come to me and what you say. If you're if you come to me like, yo, hey gang, Damo, let me borrow X amount of dollars. I'll pay you back Wednesday or I'll pay you back when I get my check this date at the third. All right, cool. I'm gonna expect I'm I'm gonna hold you to your word. A man's only as good as his word. If you're telling me, yo, I'm gonna pay you back on this day, then I'm expecting that day. Now, if not, then we got then maybe there's a conversation needs to be had, maybe not need to be had. Cool. But if you're just hey bro, let me hold twenty dollars. I need it. You ain't even said nothing about paying me back. You just, I know you need $20. I'm not going to expect it back. I'm going to just give you $20. Now, if you give it back, that's on you. If not, no hard feelings. Nigga, you just, you told me you needed $20. I got $20. I'm going to give you $20. That's, let's, I'm not let's, back. Let me keep it a real hundred. If a man is asking me for money, he just lost a friend. I ain't even going <laughs> to lie to you. He lost a friend. I ain't wish you did. I ain't wish you did. There's, no, there's no way. Money. There's no way I still see you with certain things and you asking me for money as a man. First of all, you got two hands and two feet, right? You should be able to make you some money. Second of all, there's no way you logging in and you asking for money. Like there's there's no absolute way. You better go pawn that shit. I don't had to pawn some shit before. You did. Dude, you should be. It should be dire circumstances. And you should also be asking me for probably a large amount of money. I ain't even going to lie to you. Like, you should be coming to me asking me for 500 up if you're going to ask me for money. But if you asking me for $40, man, you better cut some goddamn grass. Stop playing with me. <laughs> cut that goddamn grass. I ain't going to say all that. Um, yeah, I ain't going to say that now. Because so, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm the second to last person you need to ask for money. I, I As a friend, I'm the second to last person. The last person you need to ask for money, if you ask your woman for some money, you're single. Wait, wait. Let me just get this right. So that's you were God, the Bezos. friend. Bezos, that's on God. So you're the friend who got spotted. Like someone paid for you. And I just want to clarify what you're saying. If the friend who paid for you asked for their money back, they lost you as a friend. Is no, that what you're no, 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 no. Damo, oh. Damo took it to, <laughs> took it to just like, asking. God, damn. He took it to just <laughs> asking money for back. money in general and the, the concept of paying people back. But I'm saying, if a man with two arms and two legs, that's able body, mm -hmm. asked me for money, yo, grass still grows in Georgia. It is not the winter time. You better take your ass outside. I'm gonna hand you a lawnmower, dead ass. I wouldn't even got no lawnmower. You better cut you some goddamn grass. Stop asking me for some goddamn money. Isn't that what I said? Blood. Is that not the scenario I just said? Hey, sell your plasma. No, I'm not borrowing the money. I'm not borrowing the money, Be so. No, so is he saying if I asked Omar for money, he would look at me entirely. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You better I sell your plasma, money. hit the pawn shop up. Um, You better do something, but nah. Second to last person I that needs to be asked is me as a friend. Last person, you ask your woman for some money, I promise you I'm going to look at you crazy. I promise you. Okay. I'll, I'll amend my, my answer to on the fourth day, at least give me an explanation. If you did, I said you're down, like you're down bad, okay. All right. Okay, four okay. days, Bezos? And that's all they're going to say on yeah. day four. You might as well not say. <laughs> you might yeah, as well. Hey, nah. You might as well just amend your answer bro. No, because I already asked the dude on day two. Yo, can I get my money back? And he said, yeah, I got you tomorrow. So day three. Brad, I thought where's I was going to get you that shit, bro. Day four bro, is bro. when I get the explanation, man. Like I ain't go day four. I think you should be honest with me at that point. You know what I'm saying? And then at that point, you lost a friend. So I agree with Omar at the end of the day. Oh my! Hey yeah, man, nah. you, can't, you can't even tell me the truth on day four, bro. Like can't. if you down bad, you down bad. Just God, niggas tell evil. me, man. I got God, you. I hard disagree. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Some no, but I'm saying if, if you're that ass down bad that you can't quick. pay me forty dollars, like can I as a friend? I, at least, I, can you pay me back in honesty? Like, that's not too much to ask, right? Can you pay me back in honesty? <laughs> <Come> on, <man. laughs> nah, I thought we was like this. Three, lying to you happened? for three days is tough, but that explanation do matter. Because at that point, if he confessed to you what the fuck really went on, nigga, pride, pride crazy, bro. All right, that's all I say. Pride is crazy as hell. Niggas, niggas, be, niggas be down in a situation where it's like, bro, I really shouldn't be doing this, but I kind of like really want this or I'm fucking hungry in the food case. So they going to ask for the shit. Uh, they know they got other priorities though, so they can't really be spending the money that they trying to spend. So it is what it is. I don't cut niggas off for it, but I will tell a nigga to tighten up if it's more than one occasion. If you always asking niggas for food, if you always asking, granted asking your junk is none of my business. But if you asking for a junk for, all right, bro, hold on, like real shit, like before I can't fuck with you, bro. Like what's up with you, dog? Like this is a hundred dollars you spending on food, and apparently you ain't got a hundred dollars. What's up? 
What are you doing? Now I will say a lot. The, what you call it? The, <laughs> yeah, that's oh that's twenty two moves, man. Yo, the chat is drunk <laughs> right now. It's crazy. Nah, the chat, chat is, is tripping. But now nah, I will say it definitely. I'm not the type where I'm gonna be all upset about a nigga asking me for money. But I will say, how often you ask me for money will definitely make mm. me look at you with a side eye or make me reevaluate you as a friend. You ask me for twenty dollars once in a year. All right, nigga. Why that, is a grown man, man asking you for twenty dollars, Damo? Omar, Omar, I don't know. And personally, for nah. me, I don't care. It, it, I listen. I've lived a very long life of twenty six years. So long, for real, for real. Um, shit happens. Hey, <laughs> you mismanage no. assets. Shit happens. You never know what niggas got going on or what niggas is doing. So, and so that's it right I, there. I, if you, am, if twenty dollars, if twenty dollars is gonna cut it, that means you did something fucked up. And as a man, you need to sit in it. I'm sorry, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm not gonna lie. If I know you work a regular job, nigga, and rent was due, and you done paid your bills and everything, and you short, not even short, and you ain't got no money now because you paid all your bills, nigga. If you need to eat today, hey, I don't know what you're about to do tomorrow. I don't know what you're gonna do next week. But at least for the day, especially if I got it, nigga, here's $20. But cool. you but you've been eating, you've been eating, right? Rent been the same. Has he been eating? You've been eating. Has he been eating? So what Did you been you know doing that? before that? But what you been exactly. doing before that? I don't that? know what you've been doing before that. I don't care. Maybe uh, don't ask, 20, I think this maybe thing, don't ask 20 other people for $20. And, I don't care less. And that's, that's, not, the, that's the other thing, too. Twenty Only $20? $20 ain't going to keep you eating till next payday. Nah, yeah, that, that's what I was about to just introduce. Let's really talk ball, bro. Let's say it's 20 or for Omar's sake, let's say it's $100, right? If that nigga uses $100 to feed himself for two days, pack him up. Because at that point, bro, now I ain't hungry for real. And no cap, bro, take your black ass to the grocery store, my nigga. Get you some groceries that last you a fucking week, if not two weeks. But you you chose to take a Joan out, spend 50 on her, and you went and got a bottle of Henny. Now you got 20 Thank bucks you. left, and I guess you can go to Popeye's. Niggas Fuck gotta, stop. Here, Niggas gotta no. stop lying, bro. No, Niggas nigga. When, when my, my cousin yeah. my cousin did that one time. She asked me for uh she asked me for I think she asked me for 15 or 10. I said, man, by the time I cash app you this and you instant cash app yourself, you two two less dollars. That's eighteen dollars or thirteen dollars or whatever the case may be. What the hell you need thirteen dollars for? Like be honest. <laughs> now, if you collecting thirteen dollars just to get fifty, ask me for fifty, I'll send you fifty because you need fifty. Plan B costs fifty. Cool. If you only need $13, you mismanage somewhere for real, for real. And as a man, you fucked up, man. You got you, Niggas talking about I can live on $20 All for right, a 20 week. 20 is cap. I, I can I'm see. T- for a I'm week? T- and I'm 20. Maybe. And I, that's what I'm saying. I'm 27 yeah. years old. If you can live on $20 for a week, no, something's, something's going on, man. Something's going on. I mean, you take that $20, you go and stock up some noodles. You stock you up, to, right. You, yeah, you, you, you got to stock. Man. But uh, again, and you're you 27. Know, nigga, Why you eating noodles for real? Because, nigga, you die. Right, right. right. Some week. niggas got to. That's See, that's, that's, that's where he lose me, it's bro. Too. That's where he lose me. But some I'm niggas not, don't bad, bro. Listen, I'm not going to be the nigga to sit there and try to man micromanage you and tell you what you. I don't care about none of that. If you ask me, I got, if I got it, you're not a friend. You're not a friend. The only thing I say, Omar, the only thing I give you credit for. Is you're right in the sense of if I'm if a certain situation like that and niggas gonna niggas gonna call it whatever, but it is what it is. I'm probably not your man's to begin with. If you the type of nigga that need that, because we probably never fucking met each other and got that fucking close to the Thank point you. where that like that I give you. Uh, yeah, we probably was never even cool off rip. But if we was cool, you were straight and you lost everything. You sound like you curve stomping niggas. I ain't gonna curve stomp them. I'm, I'm gonna be like, all right, bro, I got no, it. look, 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 and we, we can move on past this after this. If if you asking me for twenty dollars, we twenty seven years old. Right. Like I said, by the time I cash app instant cash, it's about eighteen thirty, right? Mm-hmm. At some point, like, where did we go wrong that you need twenty dollars? Now I got a homeboy in college still that's playing basketball. Right. If he asked for twenty dollars, which he don't even ask for no money, but if he asked for twenty dollars, all right, you are currently a college student living on campus. You play basketball and you taking—I think he's taking like eighteen credit hours this semester. So you definitely don't got a chance to work. Completely different conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, some you know need some condoms, get you some condoms. But my other twenty-seven-year-old friends that got houses and have jobs and all that stuff like that. Nah, man, we need to have a serious conversation. What the hell going on? Because now I'm concerned for your your wife, 
your 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 girl, whatever's going on, that you don't got twenty dollars. You supposed to be the man of the house without twenty dollars? Nah, we gotta have a conversation, dog. It's as simple as that, man. That's me, though. Can I take a U turn back to the NBA? Oh Lord, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> The B stands for basketball. Yo, chill, bro. I saw this tweet that says Damian Lillard was asked by the Blazers to sit out the team's final 10 games last season in order for the team to get a high draft pick per Chris Haynes. Dane reluctantly accepted it, and it was described as a calf injury. This is exactly what I was talking about with the whole load management rules um, that they announced like last month. That shit does not matter, bro. They will just literally fake injuries and say, yo, this is not, <laughs> we're not load managing. He's actually injured. And just fake that shit, bro. Man. We've been on that. I can't true, even disagree. We've been on that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Can That's I? Topic. That's a topic. <laughs> can I double topic? Can I double topic? Just ahead, talking about manhood topic. and everything. I bet. So I know um, y'all been seeing Drake recently going on, on his tour, going to his tour dates and everything like that. Recently, at one of his shows in Atlanta, of all places, there was a couple that, you know, basically had a sign saying we skipped our honeymoon to come see you. Drake looks, looks at him. Uh, 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 let me let me, let me see a man real quick. See if he let me look him in his eyes. See if he's serious, if he's genuine or not. Nah, he look genuine. You know, y'all heard t- Turks and Caicos. I- I'm going to sing y'all to Turks and Caicos. Kiss your man, though. Kiss your man, though. Cool. Do you feel like as a man, it is like emasculating? Or whatever, if Drake pays for you and your girl's honeymoon at Turks and Caicos, can I like you? You I'll probably send you to. I thought yeah, you said sing. No, no, no. He was sing. gonna pay for it, right? He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was gonna send them to Turks and Caicos for the. I honeymoon. thought Turks was a song I know about. No, I did. Hear That's saying. what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> I did. Hear is it, is it uh, nice in Turks and Caicos? I mean, it's a nice spot, but again, <sighs> how would y'all feel? This I, is. I mean, going... if he's gonna send, now nah, he's gonna send y'all so y'all can pay. He's gonna sing y'all out there and make y'all pay. Yes, sing y'all for free. He's I ain't paying. Cap. Some of y'all gotta put your pride up, man. Pride of <laughs> bitch, yeah, ain't it? Because <laughs> man, I'm telling you, bro. Like for me personally, I don't want it to go to Turks, even if that shit overrated. Just to see what the hype about. Mm-hmm. So that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. I might say yeah. But answer is yes. It's emasculating. The question is, is I'm still going? Y'all might get y'all cake part two on me because I'm. Uh, I might be like fuming in the flight. Bro. I might, I might be fuming in the flight, fool. It's a free flight to Turks, dog. Who? I, I, get back to me. I gun to my head to answer first. I guess yes, but I can be easily swayed because that shit pissed me Omar, off, man. Because I, I already that know shit, what I feel like that shit pissed me off, face. boy. I know what Rose is gonna say. Omar, a, do you feel like it's a masculine you as a man in your relationship that Drake is willing to do that? And B, are y'all gonna go? No, I don't care if Drake sends you. I mean, that don't matter to me at all, to be honest with you. If, is it emasculating? Is he there? Is I'm it a, sorry. No, he's not there. Drake, okay, I mean, I, okay I'm probably cool. I'm probably cool. You if the Drake is not love. in mm-hmm. Turks, I'm cool. If Drake like, yeah, I'm going to get fly y'all out, and then we going to hang out at this party. <laughs> is it is it emasculating <laughs> no. for like when you win on the price is right for them to give you a car? That's not emasculating. Now, I think it's emasculating to go to a Drake concert. It's That's good. Your honeymoon? Yeah, skip your honeymoon, but and she got no, the song, no, no. so Not you know what's her idea. Go in general. No, it's her idea. Oh, uh, oh, no, hey, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I he might, he might have had a, I'm make a face like, well, shit. That must have been an L honeymoon though. Like if you like skipped it for a Drake, like Drake concert was good, but to skip a whole ass honeymoon, bro, I don't know. Yo, and you could tell by the sign. She made the sign. It was a pink sign with glitter. She made the sign, and she was swinging the fuck out of it. So that was. So I, I personally seen that situation. I was like, low key, he probably was like, "Hey, babe, we can go to Key West for a honeymoon and." You know, have a good time. Nah. You, uh, we, we, can go out to, we can go out to Myrtle Beach. Have a great time. Myrtle <laughs> Beach. Hey, nah, you <laughs> deserve that Beach. shit. We can go to Myrtle Beach for the weekend. Maybe even a week. We got it, babe. And she was like, nah, Drake's in town. Let's just they go. Nah. Been, they been, and she they was like, you see, this? you see this? You see this? They it's a rolly, not a stopwatch, man. Shit don't never stop. Come on, man. Let me pull it up. But the yeah. same money you were saving to have a very average honeymoon, you probably paid for them Drake tickets because they were relatively close. They seemed relatively close. Maybe they weren't. How much was them. Drake tickets? Drake tickets were what? Nigga, Raw Wave tickets nah. was like five hundred for DC. Nah, nah, five no more tickets up there. Bezos, how much you spent to go see Drake? Hey, eight hundred a piece. 
They were expensive. Man. Wait, wait, but, eight hundred a piece or eight hundred together? I might have been five hundred a piece. I don't know. I don't. Five hundred each. Yeah. The the prices on name is each. I think it was four hundred. Wait, how close were you though? Like, were you really close or were you middle ball? Back? Middle ball. Middle ball. Yeah. See, when for the raw wave tickets out in Charlotte and in um, where else was it? I think it was Raleigh. Uh, to get close, it was five hundred. For middle bowl, them shits was like two fifty, a hundred something. So if Drake's middle bowl was five hundred each, I can only assume them closer seats was up there. So I mean, yeah, maybe you didn't pay as much as a, a average honeymoon. Like, yeah, they just, out, yeah, so, they just yeah, they, maybe they didn't do that. But still, yes, that is definitely a possibility. They're saving money, or he had a whack ass honeymoon idea, and she was like, "I'd rather see Drake." And then Drake is like, "I'm gonna send y'all Turks and Caicos." In the sages' point, who knows? He might pull up. No, nah, he pull up. The answer is no. I can't do it. I ain't gonna. Lie. I got too much pride at that point. He, he pull up. Yeah, y'all having a good time. He take a picture with her. That shit. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, maybe I'm too jealous, man. I ain't gonna lie. I just maybe that's why. What I if you get Alex driven to the airport in an OVO limo? Is that like OD right there? If he not there, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> is he in it? Low key, low key, <laughs> Same dude. question. Is he oh, in oh, it? OVO limo there. to the airport, and you gotta uh, go on a private jet, the OVO private jet. If he not in it, my man Drake my sweet as shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yo, this nigga Drake lit. Fuck, fuck that, I'm lying to niggas. I'm, nigga, I'm yeah. No, who is that? I'm, I'm Drake, I'm the new OVO artist. <laughs> I'm, I'm the new artist on OVO. You heard of Quentin Miller? I'm his cousin. I, I go strike two. Strike two. Tickets weren't hey. crazy. Retail, they weren't crazy. A nigga says so Sage don't feel insecure with his girl. Top, no, 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 no. top ones being four ninety five. They weren't crazy. That's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's still. It's still concert prices are ridiculous, but um, nah, it's not insecurity with my girl in general. It, it, call it whatever. It's insecurity with my girl with that nigga, <laughs> like like that, like that nigga specifically. It's only a handful of niggas that I, you a damn lie if you letting your junk just chill with. Like, oh, all right, yeah. super nigga. What trick tickets weren't nowhere near expensive for real. For real. I know it sounds crazy, cause but yeah, trick tickets. How much expensive. are they? My fault. My I was dealing with the fam. In is there a Charlotte show? No. Uh in Atlanta, the, the top ticket retail was 329. Oh shit, the game is the top ticket. So that was the most expensive ticket retail or the top seats? You're talking about the top level, right? Uh, top level, top no, level. No, no, top no, 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 no. Top retail level or top retail price was 329. For the, for close fuck? seats, really? Now resale is a different conversation, but okay. I got. Oh, I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, I'm about to say I get, yo, you're talking about retail. Okay, I'm about to say. I oh, got for retail top is, yeah, that, no. that's around what it was. Yeah, for, uh, yeah, the Boston first sale, yeah, the first sale was. I was about to say, but I got middle bowl was like five hundred, okay. five fifty, okay. and then resale was like another two hundred. I'm about to say that that's just straight okay. up always going to be now, true. And, yeah, and then I got, I got, I got Beyonce tickets for retail. So like, yeah, like I bought two Beyonce tickets too. Yeah, but niggas, 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 thumbs don't work. Niggas, niggas, mouse clicks don't work to get the retail job. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I bought Beyonce tickets. I bought Beyonce tickets when they first announced, and then got retail tickets like months later. Damn. Oh, I bought resale, but the prices. Were I understand. Oh, I mean resale. Re- no, no, no. I bought retail. I bought retail tickets for Beyonce. Yeah. If if you got that months later, I stand the fuck corrected. I ain't gonna do too much. I don't know, niggas. Is... I think you got retail first, and then I told you how much mine were, and then you got resale because you were like, we can. No, get no, 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 no. What happened was they Beyonce was partnering with Capital One. And yeah. so they had a little special pre-sale. I bought pre-sale, and pre-sale was through the fucking roof. Pre-sale was like... <laughs> I was about to say, you lying to me. You tell me pre-sale cheap now. Oh, no, 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 no. Pre-sale was Boy. the price of two. So then when b So said how much his tickets were, I that's when I sold my pre-sale and bought two resale. And two resale were less than the price of the uh, pre-sale. Yeah, pre-sale, yeah, pre-sale yeah. Is one, resale is two, resale is always cheap. Okay, that, that makes shit, sense. That, that shit sense. was fucking nuts. But I, I mean, the ticket was locked, I guess. I don't know. And then <laughs> then the seating that, that my girlfriend and her friend had on the resale was better than the pre-sale. I don't know. Right, shit. It's a bar. Uh, <laughs> I got my topic then, I guess. Hey. Wait, wait, let me let me get this one off first. I Go think ahead. this one's going to be um, fairly quick. So you know, have y'all ever seen that PBS show? Where they do the ancestry.com essentially for like black people? No. 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 Okay. So they, they have this this show for, you know, Afro Ken Americans who um, you know, descendants of slaves. Mm-hmm. And they get on PBS and they talk about, you know, their life and their life history and where they came from, which boat, et cetera, et cetera. Cool. So it's Kerry Washington's turn to go on the show. Y'all know Kerry Washington from Scandal. 
Yeah. You know. So they tell them before the show, hey, make sure you go talk to your parents because you don't want any surprises as to what was going on. Like, you know, once we dig deep, because we're going to draw your blood, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So she talks to her parents and they say, hey, your father isn't actually your father. You're a surrogate baby. Oh. Yeah. She's like, she's like 40 something years old. Right. So that's not the crazy part. That's not, that's not necessarily what we care about. Although that is crazy. Gary Washington is 46. So he, they tell the story as to how it happens. Her mom and dad were having fertility issues, you know, conceiving. So they mm-hmm. get a surrogate. I didn't know this was the standard procedure. You have the artificial insemination. And then that same day, you go home and you have sex so that there's plausible deniability as to what happened. So basically, the husband nuts on top of the surrogate's nut. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you said deniability... <laughs> My brain was like, now wait a minute. And then when you said what you said no. before I could oh. Is that real? Is that oh, really how it works? Just just so you could say later on down the line, like, oh, you know, who knows? It could have been my nut. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. And I hope I'm not ruining the clip. My brain was crossing <laughs> tooth on my mic, bro. <laughs> I'm like, wait, does that mean? And then you just said it on cue. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's, that's a crazy it. concept, that's bro. It. And that's, that's for it. every surrogate, baby. Every hey, single man. one. That's so, every so. single one. <laughs> and three or more. Please. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god. If you do if you do artificial insemination, so if you get turkey basted, that's that from my understanding, that's what happens. So you gotta get home quick <laughs> and then have sex and then like the nut mixes with the Babe, nut. Hurry. <laughs> Come on. My my thing is though, why would you mix the L nut with the good nut? You know what I mean? <laughs> You put creamer in the coffee, bro. Just don't hit the same, bro. God. You got you got hazelnut coffee with like low sugar, like creamer. Like, come on, now that's like niggas made a WL community. Oh. Oh. WNL, yeah. WL in the goddamn pussy. <laughs> Three W's, two L's. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Somebody said trail me. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. No, it's nice. Trail mix is nasty. You got a box of crayons in there, bro. What the fuck? Oh my oh god. god. No, this so, is good is so, crazy. And, and the other thing that I thought about is like, when you in there as the husband, it's it's still fairly gunky from somebody else. So wait, like, wait. are you wet? Or is this yes, nasty? that's nice. Ah, and, and, no, no, so no, you cream okay. team, huh? No, hear I ain't. Out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> hear me out hear me out because because what's gonna have to happen is they turkey baster her and you gotta rush home but you still gotta get her warmed up so you gotta go back down eat her pussy and then come back up stick your dick in right this is hey hey i'm just this is how sex yeah. works <laughs> nigga, nigga so, if my jonah squirt her and then one day i'm like <laughs> Wait a damn minute! <laughs> Something's not adding up. So I'm here to I'm here to ask y'all like if you had to, there's really nothing to even ask. But if you if you had like you know you couldn't conceive a baby, are y'all going this route? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah. Not this could be though. perfectly normal for all I care. The way you described it at this moment I'm of time, okay. no, 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 I'm not no. nothing in someone's nut, bro. No, I, I don't think I'll ever nut in someone's nut. No <laughs> disrespect to y'all, nut man. <laughs> <laughs> if we got a WL baby in the chat, hey, you in the right community, but let me tell you something now. I can't do say it. Nut squared. Nut squared. This is how shit. Like, nut yeah, Poke, squared. Pokemon just tuned in. What the fuck is going on over here, man? <laughs> <laughs> would y'all, would y'all want to know, though, on a serious note, would y'all want to know if y'all parents no. Like, adopted no. no, no, adopted you, adopted you. Adopted or, no, I'm saying oh. a surrogate, surrogate. Like, like, yo, this is a surrogate. Your dad something's is in life, bro. 
Ignorance is bliss. Okay. Facts. God Facts. damn, bro. If, okay. I, if I have yeah. good relationships with my parents, I'm happy with them. I don't need to know about my past. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. I'm cool with knowing my adoption. If I, I don't need to know how. <laughs> I don't need to know how, bro. Fine. I'm adopted. Um. Wait. Never mind. Hey, hey, no. Nah, Are certain babies I'm... adopted? No, no, I just know. I don't know. Just, I'm just talking. Honestly, I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I personally feel like I don't need to know none of that. Adoption, surrogate. Uh I don't, I don't gotta know none of that. It's it's cool. Especially at 46. <laughs> for 46. <laughs> um <laughs> not for none, it's crazy. I need some big ass daycare. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um oh. Go ahead, Sage. I don't know. I just, Shit, I just, man. I felt oh, it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, yeah. man. I just, <laughs> well. That's so crazy. <laughs> just, the whole conversation was an ignorance is bliss situation, bro. I did not need to know that, bro. Because you got to imagine her. She'd be wetter. Go ahead, Sage. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Shit, oh, that's man. crazy. <laughs> well. I got well. I got my hot ticket of the week. I'll say that later. Um, I I was going on Twitter, and first thing I seen is Hero getting a jersey. So that's just a random side note. But my topic, it where the fuck was it? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, I'll put this up on Twitter. I'll put this up for you guys to see. It was a great segue to the topic before the nut topic. Um, we was talking okay. about like if Drake fly out a a, a jump or some shit, but um. <laughs> And, and like, would she be pressed over Drake? But now let's get a somewhat inverse about it. So, apparently, some nigga that uh, that sexy red was with uh, went on live and kind of like showed her sleep. <laughs> Academics is nasty, by the way. Oh yeah, wait, bring Terrible. it back, bring it back all the way, bring it back all the way, all the way got back. You, got you. So that's sexy red right there. Uh, this this right here, this, this big this big ski her right here, <laughs> and a nigga basically, you know. Yeah, he live. He's showing everybody that he's with her. Up. He push it down. Up. Unless <laughs> I push it down up. Basically, yeah. Is this a full video? Yeah, so basically he just talked about how he fucked sexy red. My question to y'all is, well, micro question, because I think we're all going to have the same sentiment about bro. But one, how do you feel about the situation? But then two, is there a woman that you'd be a hypocrite for? Is there anybody that is like, hey. No, definitely not. I'm I running around this. telling the world type shit. Show, it, show it, the it. caption. Show the caption real quick. Show the Bet, caption. Got you. Because this. So there this were nigga. 11 viewers. <laughs> yeah, it was bruh, <laughs> bruh, bruh. So 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 this nigga. Come on, bro. Figure it this, out, buddy. Bruh. This nigga academic <laughs> said, "Sexy red side dude goes live <laughs> after he just put her to sleep." Academics is like the nastiest dude. After he just oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> come on, no, the one after this was even sicker. It, oh, and I just realized he playing big act in the background while he piping her down. Yeah, he's a real <laughs> nigga. I'm like, all right, buddy. All right, bro. Like, he chat. He Jesus chat for real. Right. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that's yo. Academics is nasty as fuck. Is he a sub? But, come on. But, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, this is lame. He's lame. Um, yeah. it's confirmed everything I thought about sexy red. My God, she's just. A hood rat that got famous for real, for real. <laughs> just, <laughs> hey, it, it just, hey, it I, I, I wouldn't have bet that she relatable though. She, she is, she is position. legitimately in her hometown <laughs> after taking pictures with Jason Tatum and Drake. Like, but, with my yeah, she, yeah, this dude is lame as hell. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do that to anyone. Yeah, yeah that's shit, especially dude. for eleven. Yeah, no, that, yeah, <laughs> that that was a trap card, potentially funny moment. <laughs> no, but one, nah. that, that's my thing, bro. Nah. If I know if I go live and only eleven people are gonna be in it, there's no point. There's no point, bro. Yeah, I don't know how motherfuckers be doing. What cloud are you gaining? I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. You niggas are too used to being content creators. <laughs> if I know I'm gonna go live with only 11 people watching, why the fuck would I go live? Nah, some people see 11 they're like, yeah. Hey! It's not an L flex. Some niggas genuinely only can pull 10 people to their lives and they're comfortable with that. They're like, get uncomfortable. How about that? that? If this is what you're doing, and this is what you're comfortable hey, with? Get yeah, uncomfortable, Instagram, buddy. Their Instagram is literally everybody they went to school with and, like, three niggas they met in jail. That's it. That's Their Instagram is literally local. Oh, so you picked That's in high school. Oh, my on. God. <laughs> that is not 
What that So you're and, telling me all of the people that can view your story is the people you went to high school with and the people your in your town? Instagram Sounds like you picked the high school, right? Teams, get your, your professional job don't get your Instagram. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry everybody isn't able to get, just get their Instagram out to the masses in the I'm world. Like, see, Religiously, I'm like, some niggas are literally just stuck to the people they're around or the people. Well, word technically, he did. I'm saying where the college friends at. That's what I'm oh, well, saying. Oh, well, now. Well, oh, yeah, that's sexy. Right. Ray, you got Bezos, it. Bezos, Bezos, okay. he, he shoots. All right. <laughs> that nigga, I'm like, <laughs> he didn't go to no college. college. <laughs> that nigga shoots. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey. Like, come on, bro. Nigga has a PhD in thugonomics, nigga. He is not. I'm glad we all got the same sentiment. Uh, the most I was gonna do is a funny little bit talking about some. Nah, I wouldn't tell the world take a picture. That's lame. That's some whole shit. But I definitely would if I like got Riri when I was fiending for her. I'd, anytime I'm losing an argument, my friends, did you fuck Rihanna? Yes or no? <laughs> like some shit. Like I, I ain't gonna lie. Frame one. I, I'd be that type of nigga. I got the spice. You didn't. Like I, I'd do that all the fucking time. But uh, obviously taking a picture, going live about it, flexing the shit, man. All right. This nigga messing up the game for everybody. Nah. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Fuck, fuck, mess up Move everybody. You like... messing up for yourself, bro. She gonna yeah, wake fact, up be like, she's not fucking with you. Now. Well, actually, I can't even say she's not fucking with you. I don't know. Genuinely, she mm -hmm. sex red is on nigga timing. She might be like, all right, hey, br hey, bro, don't don't sneak. Don't do that shit again. She yeah, might. Don't do she that might. Again. She Let's might do that. She but definitely ain't gonna like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of niggas they get they get sneak pictures. Hey, bitch, sign this NDA and put your phone in the lock box when I come over, yeah. and we can enjoy our night. They're not gonna cut the bitches off. Sexy red, like Omar said, she went back home. She is in mm -hmm. West St. Louis, obviously, because he put that shit yeah. on the west. Then he put shit down up. So yeah, she's dropping in the lowest, crazy. Man. Nigga, you know, nigga, the eleven people is his friends. They already know where he at. Nigga, That's fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. They honestly, he was telling niggas, "Hey, yo, I'm about to crack sexy red. You lying? No, you want you not." Bet, bet, bet. As soon as he got done, went live. All eleven of them niggas he was talking to earlier that day. Oh, the niggas! No way! Oh, no, really? Really? He been he been fucking her, but since she got famous, niggas thought that she he stopped. Her name is like Veronica too, I think. Like, oh my god, listen, bro. <laughs> dead ass. Like, sexy red, probably. I don't know her real name, but nah, oh, he, he, he Janae, Janae oh. is her real oh, name. Now he dropped gubbies. Oh, she look like a Janae. Yo, her name but looks like her name. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> just, she just this is just like a regular. Oh, it's spelled person. like a crazy Janae. It's not even like normal Janae. It's spelled like awkwardly. It's like, J A N A. Let me let me show you because once once she you see you like in Janae. you'd be like, oh okay, that's that's probably how I thought Janae or her name, just her full name, really her full name. Move. Janae Naira Weary. I don't oh, know. Yeah. It just looks like yeah. her. Just... Yeah. Damn, she a year younger than me. They got children on here? What are we doing on Wikipedia now? She 98. Dope. She a 98 baby, I guess. She bad now, be so because of that. I mean, no. Weary has a son. Man, we fit. Oh my no. god, what is this? What <laughs> Wikipedia is so nasty. <laughs> Wait, what did it say about the podcast thing? Was it talking about the little Yachty pod? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh my yes. god. Yeah, let's um it just took a turn. I don't like that. Um, she had a son, they put she had a son <laughs> right under in twenty in August, she admitted to like god damn. All right. Wow. Um okay. Oh, so I had a question. Um, because I seen it earlier in, in Mari. Uh, shout out to friend of the show, Mari, even though we don't know. I like when people say friend of the show and they don't know these people. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to friend of the show Mari. Um, <laughs> she asked, "Why aren't there any women WL streamers?" And this kind of stems off of what we were talking about at the beginning of the podcast. But to to y'all, why aren't there any women WL hmm. I never streamers? Even about that. I don't think like there's big not ones, any. Big ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm big gonna ones, say, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna be obtuse. Uh, I think some of them are good on youtube like i know jazz is good on youtube and i know some of them have like like notoriety but we're talking numbers i assume right but i like like for example like mari i know mari's known but i i don't know if what numbers we're qualifying to qual classify as big I, but in general though i'm not gonna be out too see what you mean uh mm, yeah actually... if you look at the top creators in the w yeah yeah, yeah i'm not I'm not doing yeah. that um yeah they, got, they all got you know sticks Damn, that's I didn't fucking, yeah, Krista too. No, I think about Krista Cloud too. Uh who's Krista? Uh some bros. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That's the chicken, some bros? Yeah. Krista. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't know that. Um, what's it called? I guess uh, a lot of the WL community likes seeing um. Pearly I mean, things? one. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Pearly Please. Things. I wasn't <laughs> Please, lying. Bro. Please. Oh, bro. someone said pearly things. I was going to say, I didn't say pearly things. <laughs> no, someone in the chat said pearly things is WRL, bro. Stop. Oh, my God. Please. No. Yes. Nah, all, all, shit, all shit aside, I think I think um some motherfuckers uh, basically like seeing that horny ass shit. And when it comes to female streamers, they don't like having a chat full of horny motherfuckers, chat full of. 16 to 22 year old motherfuckers that's just calling them hot the entire stream all that extra shit because motherfuckers don't be chill niggas don't be chill and especially on twitch no disrespect to our potential viewers even niggas on twitch don't be chill it's just gonna be got every time they stand up it's just gonna be milkers every time they sit down all that extra shit so i don't even know that 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 type of shit that they go through that's one two um i don't know maybe it's like a um Maybe it's like a networking thing. Maybe there's just truly haven't been a girl that's on that type of time, and whether it's funny enough, entertaining enough, something like that. But um, it's mm -hmm. bound to happen. Is I'd never even thought of it. If none of the women I name classify, it's definitely going to happen to them. I'll say that. I feel like if we look at the biggest names in the WL community, a lot of them did. Let's just keep it a bean. They stem from 2K, and 2K is a predominantly male um, community. So that's a good point. Do they? A lot of the a top readers them. stem from 2K. Yeah, and somehow, majority, some way, yeah. Majority of them, like even even you could argue Kai is um he was already his own creator. No disrespect to him, but like a huge boost for him was AMP, and AMP was full of a bunch of niggas from 2K. So I'd argue that. Most I'd say I'd say all the AMP aside from Kai, mm -hmm. Rage, and Phantom. Flight, I, I don't think right? Phantom is a 2K. Oh yeah, Phantom weren't primary yeah. 2K. Phantom was a 2K. Well, didn't he start off well, doing 2K? No, I think no, he, he started off doing he started off doing GTA skits and everything yeah. like that. He started off doing GTA skits like that back GTA. in the day. Then he started um doing like story times and shit. There was a portion of time where he was playing 2K, but that's not what he's known for. It, yeah, if you don't want to give it a fan, that's fine. Was he known as 2K? Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that, I'll leave that up to chat. I'll leave that up to chat. Was he known for 2K? Was he known I, for I knew fan from 2K. I'm a, I'm gonna just keep it a beat. Okay, like, have a whole Aiden, 2K channel that got banned. Bruce, they're saying 2K. They're saying 2K. I don't know if he had a 2K channel that got banned. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He did. He did have a different way of spelling Phantom. Yeah. Yeah. Even Neon came from 2K. It's 2K. Bro. It's 2K. It's 2K. Well, yeah, Neon is from 2K. It's 2K. It's 2K. It's 2K. I mean, I guess that's when. I'm, okay, so I guess that's when the blow up happened. Because I've I've known a fan for a long ass time, so I don't know him from 2K. But if niggas got on to him when he was doing 2K, then that's fair. That's when niggas so came from Shout out to Phantom because I didn't know he played 2K for real. I knew he played it, but I didn't. I, I, knew I know he had a portion of time when he played 2K, but a lot of niggas did. But that's. I just didn't think that's what niggas was going to credit him blowing up for. But regardless, regardless, not going to harp on that. I ain't going. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. I do agree so, with yeah. Souls though. Majority, uh, you can continue your point because majority of them, I'd I was thinking the argument. Those niggas like, um, I guess Rage, Dante. Those aren't two K niggas. When you when you discover when you discover Phantom Dante, really? um, it was a Laristocrats video. Uh, what you call it? Uh, True Motives. What, what, what year? Give me a year. That was I was in high school, so 2012, 2013. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing him play with Stacks Montana on 16 or 17. But mm -hmm. but like even with uh even with rage or even with like flight flight played basketball IRL and then the next thing he did was play two K, um so in general that's still a male demographic. Rage blew up plug and flight and uh, like communicating with flight communicating with soul uh souls fucking uh soul so so, yeah, so, yeah. so yeah so rage blew up that channel. way and again that mm -hmm. was it with those two communities male demographic so I actually. Mm -hmm. I think so. It's on to some there that it's a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not everyone. I, I will say that male demographic shit. Yeah, because people people saying there. RDC, people saying Berlizzi. A lot of those some bros guys did not come from uh, 2K, okay. but that's not like, what he's like, saying though. though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not what he's saying. That's not a lot. Saying. A lot of the very prominent figures within this community did stem from the 2K community, which is a very male dominated community. So yeah, I actually, I actually agree with that. Male demographic upbringing. That's gonna be a really good argument. I was gonna say after that conversation in the space earlier about it, I was kind of leaning one way, but after hearing. Really, Omar speak on it. The being in a male-driven uh, community is definitely uh, something I didn't think about. Uh, WL niggas is just the community itself is a lot of males, so a, a lot of young males at that. So it, it's that. Um, another point that, you, that was brought up in that space was well, nah, I don't even nah, I, I do agree with that. The well, I don't want to steal your talking points. I'm pretty sure you're gonna bring it up, so I ain't gonna say that. But I just think personally, for me, I just don't think they're. And I thought Mari would have been. Probably the biggest WL streamer, 
Yeah, I think she's going to be streamer. I don't know if she'll be the most notable yeah. person in the community. She but I, I thought she was the biggest WL streamer, but I want to say it stemmed from her. Bring, like you said, she was the one that brought it up. And shout out Mari. You know, she was in the section with us when we were doing the, when we was at the Family Feud shit. Mm. But. Um, That's so nasty. <laughs> she was. I didn't know that. Friend of the show. Good, Come on, that man. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Oh. I go fake was... dog now. I didn't. I didn't know that. But <laughs> that I'm, was... I'm not cheating out a friend of the show. Yeah, that, was, I'm not that, that, was, that was gross. I fuck with her. I, I guess. How's that gross? I don't know how that's gross. That she was, was in our section. She was. <laughs> So was Kobe and Click. Shout out Kobe and Click. Shout out Kobe and Click. Why be as well? She was one that brought it up. I'm like, if she. Facts, facts. She was one that brought it up. So if she's bringing it up, then obviously there's a clear discrepancy in like the the gap in terms of the top streamers and the women. And she was even like, I'll take notes if it's something I need to do. And I'm like, well, shit. Obviously, she's not big enough. Um, The mm-hmm. only. When we were talking about it, the only woman that really got motion that can be seen as WL is, uh, was it Kaylee? Kaylee Rogers? What is her fucking name? Kaylee Rogers? Kalani? Kalani? Oh, you're talking about Kalani. Yeah, you're talking about Kalani. That's the biggest one. And even after we talked about it, it boiled down to her jokes and the shit that she, her clips and jokes come on, and shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's it, it really like, I get, I get her short. I get her short. I get her stop. short. She's doing shit. It's like a male perspective. She's playing on Game of God. Yeah. No, I'm not about to be nasty. She's she's popping because she takes her clothes off. I, I didn't know that. she had an only I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know and that. And it's crazy <laughs> how every time you say that, it's a ton of niggas. She does? Like, no one <laughs> yeah, knew that. I, yeah, I ain't know that. I don't keep doing with you. I'm a, I, and, and I'm going to tell you, and, and no disrespect to her and her content, because I do think she is funny. <laughs> um, Link is crazy. <laughs> I do, I do, I do think she is funny or whatever the case may be. But I'm, I'm looking at her as the other. What's her name? Sierra. Uh, that one that that girl that that uh, one young lady that's extremely thick, and all her content is surrounded by her ass and making ass jokes and stuff. Sierra West, I think is her name. Um, but she's super. She's just super thick, and she plays out the fact that she's super thick um and it's about the sex appeal like we, we were talking to shay in the um space shout out to shay friends of the show but she was talking about the fact that like she, she'll be capped off because she's not conventionally attractive uh which is true like that's 100 true. oh yeah that, that, that's gonna be the way i, is that I, the I, that, uh, I did the stream with, with agent mm-hmm. okay uh, uh no i don't think so no i get that she did, that, stream, you know. she, did a, she did the stream with us but she um but yeah so she just like if you're not conventionally attractive, there's a cap on that. Um, if you don't make fart jokes, I call them fart jokes, and you know, talk about pee and poop and you know, bitch this and bitch that. Like there's a, there's a cap on what you'll be able to do. So I, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, it's a lack of interest in those kind of humor in, uh, from that. I I'll agree with you on the appearance thing, unfortunately. Yeah. So, but we're not gonna play obtuse for the sake of just being PC. It's cute to buck podcast. Ha ha. But uh, like ultimately, unfortunately, yeah, if 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 chat don't find them attractive, they gonna just click off off rip. Uh, ugly nigga has a way h- a higher chance of blowing up than an ugly jump dude. It's just a fact. But I um, feel like there's definitely a hole in the market though that someone could fill up. Cause yeah, I, I, I was watching Kai stream one time and like there was this woman who did a TikTok that tagged Kai talking about like, yo, you know, it'd be a great idea a women's AMP. Now yeah. naming a, a another group called AM W A M P. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, just just name it something else, you know what I'm saying? But just the idea of like women heavy people within this community, I, I think that'd be dope as fuck. Well. But but also that, like go crazy. the people that watch Twitch streams and consume this content are most likely boys. So there's no way successfully for a woman to appeal to a young boy without truly taking their clothes off or making the fart jokes. And even if they start making the fart jokes or conversations about their crazy night and they did this, that, and the third, they'll either quickly be turned into well, they'll, be, they'll just be turning to like you know a slore. Just hey, you, you talking about on Twitch in general, or just like I on our side of it up Twitch? Like this. this is crazy. Yeah, how much you giving it up, man? I did not. I I thought she was just trying to be funny. This is. I, I'm a I, I, now. This is crazy. I ain't know. I ain't no ball if what you're saying is true. I mean, I ain't she knows. Oh no! Say say. Oh my god! Oh no! It's yeah. true. Oh my god! Y'all niggas hell. <laughs> that face is crazy. Oh. Y'all no, niggas hell, bro. I ain't gonna do all that. I, I, I ain't gonna do Google all that. And just typed in her name on Google OnlyFans. And I'm, you know, at first it was just like, you know, and maybe this is Photoshop, but it's just, you know, 
typical, typical, oh, I'm trying to lead you on pictures. Then I pop up when she's taking dick. I was like, oh, I didn't she, know it was that bad. Whoa. I just went on her, her OF. She's been doing it for about a year, and she has 427,000 likes on it. So, and, and oh, my you human followers on OF, bro. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think you can see how many followers. It's a free OF, though. But, and, and again, I'm not doing this to me personally take away from what she's got going on. If you are, you're, you're, you, you started off doing comedy, as far as I understand. Mm-hmm. You started off doing comedy. You just so happen to live in the area, if I'm not mistaken, of like some content creators and you were collabing, et cetera, et cetera. And, and just like, you know, a lot of other people, I wish she was here to actually attest to this, but uh, you got used as the attractive prop. And then you just played into it. Like, I just, okay, well, let me play into it, play into it, play into it, see what I'm more comfortable with, see what I'm more comfortable with, see what I'm more comfortable with. And if somebody told you, hey, behind this door is an excessive amount of money. A lot of niggas won't turn that down. So it just is what it is. So, but again, I think that you wouldn't be able to be a successful streamer um, in this specific community, if you didn't do these things, if you were, because all all the all the WL people be reacting to the same stuff, and they got the same type of reactions for the most part. No disrespect. Yeah. So what, yeah, what separates thing is, them from you know what I'm saying? I, I, but but you was on to some. some earlier. You you was on to some. Okay, okay. <laughs> disagree. <laughs> but you was on to some when you said that uh make fart jokes or some shit like that. That's another thing that uh women won't be like keen to do. Women ain't keen to do hey yo, hey yo, left and right all the time. Some of them are goofy enough to do that shit, but a lot of them he's looking at that shit like why why the fuck you're weird and block. <laughs> like what the fuck? So I, I it's not gonna be like someone's going to do it. I promise you that it's going to happen. Now I think about it. I've never really th- thought about this conversation. So I'm trying to get my thoughts together. You guys have clearly already talked about it. Have your thoughts together. It's going to happen. I think we all agree there. Um, who? Question I don't, mark. I don't actually. You don't, you don't think nobody's going to blow up in the W.O. community? I mean, I think there's already, I think blow up is also a, a thing. Cause I would argue some of these women already are, but um, blowing up. Yeah. Yeah. But that's size point. Um, I just think the reason why there's less is because also there's let's keep it a bean. So a couple people that have the belief, and this is a community that believes it, that women ain't funny and can't be funny. So it's it's also it's also rooted in an audience that won't even go to them outside of appearance. So that's why it's, it's a lot of reasons. It's unfair. It's it's a lot of unfair reasons to why it's not gonna happen. It's not happened, but I do think it's going to happen. I just figured it was an um and wait, am I I'm muted? I am okay, cool. I just figured it was a case of the woman just ain't been like I'm with souls, like it's a lane that can be filled, it just ain't been filled yet. Like that that person hasn't filled that lane. But going into it, I don't think someone will fill that lane. Um who uh, uh fucking Corey, I was about to say West. Corey said it earlier, man, it's a, it's just a nigga dominated field. I don't Mm. I don't think that what you call it, it's going to be maybe it won't be a woman to blow up in the community because it's just not a community meant to have men and women at the top or have a woman blow up in it as well for the reason of the kind of content that it is, the jokes that are made and shit like that. And it's probably not an environment where women want to have their fan base come that's from what I'm saying. because the, it's, that's not some shit that you want. Did you, you know how long it took Pokemon to fucking hand her down like get her community to a point where she was comfortable how many words she had to ban how many fucking people had to get banned how many mods she had to put in place to keep shit regulated just on her shit is semi-normal she in bogus i couldn't imagine what wl community wl would have did this is crazy yeah i just don't uh i don't know women have broken to the red pill space um but I think that there's a little bit, there's there's a little bit of difference. But again, there's so many, there's so few women who have also broken into the red pill space, um, and that's supposed to be a, a place for men, by men, et cetera, et cetera. But you know, I could be wrong. Uh, I, feel, so, I feel like if someone does, it's gonna be like very clear cut, just like what pearly things did in that space. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a very rapid growth that you can't miss type shit. Yeah, you someone know? someone just said done and take years. But I, I think all of us agree. If if and when it happens in my situation, but if it were to happen, I think all of us agree it's gonna it's gonna be like an RKO. You ain't gonna see the shit coming. It's just gonna be someone popped up out of nowhere. It's not and, gonna be that's the way some of this shit go when it comes to being that level. And niggas said that it takes years, and I could be mistaken because you know I haven't been 
on the internet like that for years. Um, shout out to King Drew. I, I don't think there's people that I know that didn't take years. Like, no, this mm. and again, this isn't disrespecting him. Jojo just talked about how the pandemic blew him up. Like he did his shit basically mid pandemic. Yeah, I, I know someone Joe, blowing up right now was a uh, Connie, I think. Connie something. Rod. But Jojo had a stimulus Rossi. package though. Like like he said, he got found by Burley. Same thing, but same thing with Connie. But and and that and that might be what it takes. But no, I agree with what you're saying because we had that conversation in the space. Unless you like get put on uh because you're around all these people and it works out for you, that's a different thing. They talk about Connie Rosie. Connie Rosie every two weeks. Cause I was watching her a minute ago. Uh, Connie Rosie every two weeks does a video with Phantom and Black Boy Max. Mm -hmm. And now, where she used to not play games like this, she wears the low cut shirt with the hoodie on and the push up bra. Does mm -hmm. it all oh, the I time? Didn't know that. I didn't know. Yeah, that. Okay. but I think I think I think you know. I think you remember her from like this. This might have even been like last year, or a year and a half ago. She used to be just a little. I thought little she was girl. just on Twitter, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And then I found out she was streaming. But she was just she just didn't. Are you talking about the Twitter yeah. account? I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she wasn't she wasn't doing nothing crazy. But now when she plays games, she got a little push up bra. On, she got a little you know a little chest, little titties up and out, and that's just the way they're gonna do it. I, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. I definitely feel like the only way to fast track past it not taking years because for the average person, man or woman, it, it takes a couple years. The only way you fast track that is if you pull a JoJo and you get put on by the 1%. Like that's really – or you just have an instance where you go super viral. Um, and that's WL, Parkers, whatever. If you have a situation where you go super viral and you capitalize off that, that could be something. Um, it, it, She's not WRL and it's been a minute, but the fucking – the OK Boomer girl. Y'all remember her? Oh, Literally, I, she, I don't know her. She, her yeah, she is poggers like crazy. Yeah. yeah, she's poggers like crazy. But before OK Boomer, I mean, I didn't know about her, and she seemed relatively unknown and basic uh, in terms of viewership and what she was pulling. Mm -hmm. OK Boomer drop that motherfucker goes to top one percent of poggers in in a matter of a month or two. So it, it, it definitely the only way you get past the threshold of it taking a couple years or having to put a lot of work in is. You just get lucky. She did fall off, but she fucked up. Uh, that's another thing. That's another issue with a lot of women. It's a, I would say it's a double standard, but it's because of how you advertise yourself. If you advertise yourself as this attractive ass woman to a bunch of loner ass introverted men, motherfuckers find out you lying about you having a boyfriend. Them niggas are not about to donate to you no more. That's what happened to her. Niggas found out she had a boyfriend, lost hella subs. Hella donations. Nick motherfuckers like, I'm not fucking with it because thought you were single. And that's the issue a lot of women deal with. Pokemon right. for a long time hid the fact she had a boyfriend. That's what a lot of women and WRL, a lot of you women have to either hide the fact that they have boyfriends or they tell you out the rip. Hey, my man is right here. Here's my boyfriend, just so you know, so you there's no misconception. So that's another fucked up part about it. You know, being a woman action. streamer in general. This is Connie's Twitter page. Damn. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna see why she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that picture's so great, bro. <laughs> 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 Bravo, <laughs> That makes you fantastic, bro. That Kevin James picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. She had all the yeah. like, what up, Kevin James? Everybody James. like, all right, cool. We quiet, probably looking horny or whatever. You seen Kevin James? <laughs> all right, dog. <laughs> but but Omar, I see your point. Well, points. I ain't say I I'm with it. You know, yeah. no. I ain't say nothing, man. And somebody saying she all right, it don't matter. She's she's a naked woman on the internet, she man. Harlot. You're nasty, Corky. Right, Go nasty ahead, Beasos. Take it away, buddy. All right, buddy. All right man. Listen, I asked the Discord to post a couple of things in reaction clips. I I asked them to post the last dish that they cooked, like cook for them. So mm -hmm. we're gonna react to some of those right now. Omar, could you share your screen? Please? I hope y'all can cook. Or someone could share this screen. I got you. I can cook. I just don't cook enough. I thought you was gonna say uh their rooms, because I asked for their rooms. I'm gonna do their rooms later. <laughs> nasty, nasty. We we could do oh uh, you can do that for yourself. Nah, I don't uh, you know big O. Alright, I'm about to uh, I got it pulled up now. You can't cook, y'all. I had NSFW pulled up. <laughs> hey. Shout to E3. <laughs> uh, I ain't get a, I ain't get a lot of rooms. Y'all don't got rooms in the chat? Y'all better put y'all rooms in that goddamn chat. Motherfuckers, uh, the rest of the rooms. You just live in hotels. That's why. That's what's going on. All right, here we go. 
All right, man. We're going to go one by one. And like we did with the fits, we'll rate them from one through ten, man. All right. First one. Yeah, Max Dream. Noodles and taco beef? <laughs> tacos? All right, Spencer. Okay, well, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He might be trying to gain weight. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think... I can't. I can't jazz it. I can't jazz. I'm trying to give him a benefit of a doubt. No, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't no joke. It. What you was you cooking? Through. I mean, that I looks like four and I and hope that's spaghetti because to me it looked like fucking baked beans and spaghetti. Yeah, I dude. thought that was beans. I ain't gonna lie. Um, that's spaghetti with a lot of ground beef on it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take away half from Sage. I'm gonna give it four out of ten. It looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, your spaghetti got no sauce. Appe- game. Appearance Three. matters a little bit, a lot. Now, let me, I don't even lie, a lot. And, and <laughs> nothing about that plate. Am I like, ooh? <laughs> how do you make? How do you make spaghetti with no sauce? What the fuck? You make yeah. you ground beef and pasta. The, 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 the four <laughs> points come from is probably something that's good for you. It's probably good for you. It's not even taco meat, bro. It's just ground beef and pasta. He might be allergic to uh, sauce. Maybe. Why make that then? Oh, he said the sauce is. He said the sauce is under. I just saw him say it in the, the chat. The sauce under? is under. Under what? Under dress what? Your place better, gang. Dress your place better, gang. All right, Bezos. What? Why'd you, you put the sauce is? under? All right, anyways, three, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Before we, before we move on, now I gotta ask since niggas talking about the sauce, sauce pasta, awesome pasta fries, fries, and none of that. When y'all no. doing y'all, if, if y'all ever had pasta where it was separated, how are y'all putting your pasta like together? Do y'all just put it all together? Because me personally, I go. Cause I have the meat and the sauce in one pan. I had the noodles in one pan, so I go meat sauce, the the, the sauce and the meat. Then I do some noodles and then sauce and meat on top. How do y'all do y'all's? Pasta, meat, sauce, and cheese. If that's okay. an option. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but essentially, I like if I'm cooking spaghetti, I like had the noodles. Then I mm-hmm. uh then I like cook the meat or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then after that. Uh, I put the meat on. I guess. I guess I'm saying it. I put the meat on the sauce, whatever. No, meat on the sauce. No, meat, meat, meat on meat on the noodles. I want to say mm. sauce on the yeah. sauce. Then then the sauce. Get some of the sauce on there. But uh, the sauce is already cooked. The sauce is already seasoned. All the extra shit. Mm. Then uh, if you if you gotta put some cheese on that, don't. It would depend what you eat. Some cheese. Some shit. Yeah, you need cheese. Man, eat that know. shit. That's my answer. <laughs> eat that shit. But nah, it, it, it appearance matter a little bit. I think it said sauce under the table. <laughs> the way it made don't matter though, because like once you scoop the shit, you gonna put it on the plate and it should gonna be out of order unless it's lasagna. This is Range Rops burger. Those look what like cookies. <laughs> I think that's an everything bagel. Oh, and then a burger or everything okay. one. You had a fat ass slice of cheese and a little ass patty. I'm, I'm toaster the, buns. That's what I was about to say. The only thing I'm I'm gonna bring you down a lot for is because if you ever microwaved buns, you know it's coming out hard as hell. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. After, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you down to a two for that. Yeah, gonna, I'd rather have yeah. the pasta and ground beef than this. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely, I definitely think the pasta Absolutely is better. Is. Absolutely. Not, without a doubt, I'll probably go three. You get a crunchy dry. ass bun. Dry, man. Yeah. Uh, what Dama? <laughs> nah, that should do look. That, that is crazy. Putting I don't even know if you season the, the patty. Microwave. I can't see buns the patty. In the, buns in the <laughs> microwave is like it's insanely nuts. It looked like a, a gouda a little cheese machine. What if he did I it can't... to melt the cheese? That'd be crazy. Now this <laughs> got potential. Got potential. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Um, nothing after one bite, everything is coming out the back end of the burger. That's but, true. But it look it's looking pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead. The red care. onions is throwing yeah. me off. I'm giving it a seven. You don't like red don't onions? Don't like red onions? Not even close. That's hey. the go-to onion, bro. I don't no, know about that, but no, damn. I don't not. know about that, but damn. Caramelized um, onions is the go-to onion. Right, no, I'm I just agree. saying, like, when you're one, buying one, onions one, from one, the grocery steaks, store, you get yellow or red. I get red. Nah. Are we cook that? That literally must be, like, cultural, because red onions is crazy. Yeah. Red onions is the red onions. most pungent. No, I have something against red onions. Nah. It's fine. But overall, though, all shit aside... Omar was spitting, is the food gonna like discombobulate or whatever the fuck? But the thing is, a nigga like me won't care. It actually looks good. I'm gonna get at a, I'm gonna give it eight. I'm not even gonna cap. I'm gonna get eight. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give nine, a strong bro. seven. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna be a stiffler. Okay. Your bun's too wrinkly, nigga. The, 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 oh, the bun looking God. like that. It looks like, it looks like them leather seats you go to your uncle's house and you, and niggas be peeling it and they get it's mad. It's a potato bun. It. It's a potato I bun. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, a pretzel bun. A pretzel bun. Yeah, it shouldn't look like. Peeling oh, wait, they they cooking a way the cheese on that junk. It's a mm-hmm. chicken sandwich. I don't necessarily need cheese. Bezos, where'd you where'd you got on this? Shit. Eight or nine, eight or nine. Some cheese on that. Seven. Especially if I'm getting two. I just I just hate the fact that two is crazy. I just hate the fact that once <laughs> I bite it, I'm gonna have to need a fork and a um, knife because it's it's definitely coming out the back. 
Um, Look at me. He cooked this for real. Oh, dang it. He got the. <laughs> This the what the fuck? Yeah, what is that? Is that sriracha? He, he said it's meal prep, so I get like a okay. I mean, I like you know, he's not going for half, complete taste. Five and so. and a half, six. six, not five and a half. It's five a cool lunch. Six, calm little lunch. Yeah. <laughs> cool little <laughs> While I'm editing. T- um, oh, yeah, yeah, I go five and a half. I'm, as a nigga that's trying to actually put on weight in my gym habit, my not gym habits, my eating habits suck. I've seen a lot of dishes like this, so. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip lunch. I'm gonna skip lunch. I ain't gonna lie. I've been losing weight. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I've been losing weight, so I'm gonna skip lunch on this one. That's cool though. I fuck with you, Dama. Uh, that is crazy. Someone said, "Hello, Fresh Merchant. You're sick, buddy." <laughs> Hello, Fresh. Hey, definitely a three. Definitely a three. I'm not liking this. Everything the same color. Hey, I'm gonna tell you I'm something. The sauce. Let me tell you this, Dama. That's the uh, this the third day on them leftovers, ain't it? Right here. This oh, just- absolutely. This nigga meal prep. This is the rice the dry as shit. The week. Yeah. I know that's 300 calories for a reason. Yeah, yeah. you done know, t- you know meal prep for the week with the same meal, and this is Friday, nigga. Because I'm because I'm gonna tell you something. Cold. I'm gonna tell you something right now. That chicken tasting like y'all know when chicken be sitting in the you know cooked chicken be sitting for a minute. Mm-hmm. That rice tastes like everything in the refrigerator. So then he just drizzles some sauce to get a different flavor on top. Oh my! Yeah, we God. we know. I, I caught you, buddy. I've done it before. I've done this exact same thing before. I know what you did. Um, meat and potatoes. Me and potatoes. Is that Brussels sprouts or broccoli? Yeah, Brussels sprouts. So oh, let me say this: He didn't put no. Shit? I'm gonna say, what is what is that? Are those Chinese what? chicken fingers? I'm gonna say, what are you talking? Bread? This is that right bread? Here? Yeah, that's yeah. bread. That's bread. That's bread. bread. That's bread. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of? What the? My first alarm. If that's <laughs> Chinese food, my chicken fingers, alarm, bro. Yo, hey, yo, pre pre pause. There ain't no sauce under the uh, under the meat. There ain't no sauce under that. There ain't none. It's just like dry shit. Like I'm not asking for steak sauce. I'm not asking for nothing. Yeah, what you mean? Your, your steak like, gotta be saucing on the plate. No, nah, no, nah, I'm saying it ain't nothing drizzling from it. Like it's not a little bit. Like how? No how juice? Like you know, you see what I'm saying? Juicy, I guess is the word. Yeah, like, he hasn't no cut juice. into it. He hasn't cut into With it. That yet. butter knife. I don't know. I don't oh, trust anything you butter knife. I'm talking steak. like I'm talking like if you put the jump from or from the uh from from the little pan or whatever on the plate, and that shit ain't gonna. No, he didn't put it on. He probably just rested it a little bit. Okay, and then it enough. sucked the juices back up, and now it's just waiting to be cut. I will say this though: your steak has a terrible sear on it. Um, your Brussels sprouts don't look seasoned, but this is also this is probably like an eight. This is probably the best thing I've seen so far. I don't like know where you get bread like that. I'm not saying I like more. I give it a seven. Calm little seven. Yo, shut up. Calm little seven. You feel really? me? Um, bacon mac and cheese with broccoli. Oh no, no. <laughs> Where the I bacon? That was broccoli. Broccoli. I don't see no bacon. I don't see um, no bacon. So you get don't see no bacon. The lying. That's Big Mac. Uh, that's like that's a little like a noodles and company. That's exactly. Bacon. That's exactly how I feel. Well, it's just, I mean, it's baked mac and cheese. So I don't. Know. <laughs> it look like some. It look like a noodles and company dish. I give it another five out of five. Yeah. Yo, these <laughs> is ready to be silly. I can just. I see it. He been streaming for too long. <laughs> I mean, that's that shit is that. I mean, that's baked mac and cheese. So I get six. A soft six. Calm a little. Pause. Pause. Yeah. Oh, what are we pausing? I don't a know what's happening. I'm not going to lie. You are giving that a soft six? A soft six. Oh, man. my God. What? That's a calm little five for real. <laughs> Y'all need. Yeah, it's just a fire, bro. Let me, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something right now. Let me tell y'all something. Six. And it's for the chat that's listening. If somebody has to do all this to mac and cheese, it's nasty. <laughs> it's flavorless. Put green onions on mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, those are those are times, right? I don't care, bro. It don't, it, don't it don't matter. 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 With more crushed cheese. <laughs> 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 this nigga Damo, that's shy. Give a fuck, nigga. Fuck this nigga. Fuck is, is this cilantro? What the fuck? What is cilantro yeah. mac and cheese for? <laughs> parsley, <laughs> parsley head ass. <laughs> nigga, nigga said, "Nah, parsley too simple, babe. Let me freak him." Come on, cilantro is. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let me tell you, bro. If you dress your mac and cheese up like this. That shit is nasty. It just needs to crust. You're covering you up something. It. You're covering, yeah, you're covering, you're covering, you're covering up the nastiness. You're and then I'm a, there's no bacon on it. That's what it is. Then I'm gonna bite it. I think it might be under this. Then I'm gonna bite it and be like, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's something. 
It's because all shit is nasty. It's like leaves, bro. Yeah. What is my mac and cheese? It's like leaves. The fuck is this? Right, it's a troll. 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 Nigga troll. Is that a woman or a noodle? Yo, oh, that can't all, be Alfredo, bro. That can't be Alfredo, bro. Oh, you got a like, fine <laughs> bottle of water. This is <laughs> some, some um, lemon, lemon and cheese uh, spaghetti with salmon. Lemon and cheese what? don't go together, buddy. <laughs> Lemon and Sour cheese. Where's the salmon? Sour patch linguine. Yo, I vegans, should. vegans are going through it right now. If this is what wow, they gotta sour eat, sour cream gone ass food. Oh. That's the most disgusting Holy shit, bro. Shit, I, 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 I got you it too, my boy. Nah, yo, 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 yo. Chat cannot cut mac and cheese, bro. <laughs> look at these noodles. This look like easy mac ass noodles. Oh my god! There's more ham. At least there's no fucking ham? cilantro on it. Wait, wait, god. what's in? Y'all have ham in your mac and cheese? It look like ham and bacon. They're white. There's but see, no that's way. why. That's why I told you. If you got to do all this to mac and cheese, no, that bro. Is something wait, wrong who posted with this? It. Who posted this? Some nigga. I don't know. Ghost Carter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't know, buddy. No, yeah, this is nasty. Say, so there's it, bacon, chicken. I agree with someone who It don't look good. I, I just you using easy no, mac noodles man. you using ham and chicken um no that's a zero just want to eat meat, no, bro. This, <laughs> this one don't look cooked enough the other one looked overcooked so i don't even know spicy what am I looking what? At? wait was, is that what was it spicy yolk? korean that is, that is egg yolk it's spicy korean seafood tofu so get the fuck out of here archie okay yeah i can't i'm not gonna have a pain he gonna he gonna wild out <laughs> so i'll just i'll just let that shit rock i, I never had that one calm little know? pancakes and eggs you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a pancake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried not to laugh at it. Yo, you're Is that bacon? Idiot, your, eggs, your eggs look a little crazy even <laughs> if they're over, <laughs> if they're over <laughs> easy. Uh, ketchup on easy. eggs is crazy. Y'all you put ketchup on eggs? That, I thank you. Directly on the yolk, too, is crazy. I ain't going to lie. He made a statement. He put two <laughs> egg yolks, made sure they were egg whites in general, and then said, I'm going to put ketchup on it with a smile. He made well, a you know, statement. You know why, Sage? Because he put it on his Instagram story, hoping somebody would swipe up, and she did not swipe up. This is the third day in a row. This guy cannot cook. Post. Yeah, that's, sorry about that's that. That's a four. It's edible, but not not pee. Chicken, Chicken okay, okay. okay. Oh, that's not bad. That's, that's not a seven. Bad. That's a that's seven, seven, seven. I don't know. Yeah. If this is this, this is gravy. It's like teriyaki nah, sauce. Probably. Nah, this is a strong six right now. Not a soft yeah. six. A strong six. I, I, I'm gonna go six and a half. You can judge me all y'all want. I'm gonna need I'm a little bit more of that sauce because I don't like just eating straight up white rice. I'm officially on the curve scale. Um, this is his spaghetti with the lemon. He doubled. <laughs> that plate looked better than another on, one, but it's still going to the same shit, bro. Is that just better same? lighting? Yeah, yeah it's the same thing. Better representation. I think you shit out of here, here bro. Oh, no. I'm gonna yeah. There's no salmon. There's still no two salmon. To a three. You go from a two to a three, and yes, where the hell is the fish? It's kind of ass, but the only food I got. Yeah, you're right. This nigga got going on. What is that? You ever see a mashed potato get mashed? (laughs) Shit. (laughs) What? what What's on the left? I don't know. (laughs) Those chicken nuggets glazed in honey mustard, bro. That's like the the smallest salmon with the fattest amount of Creole sauce I done ever seen. I don't know what this is. Now, what what do you do? Wait, hold on. What are you drinking? Is that butter? Oh, you watch Player this. Choice. You see that? It's Kevin. What? What? What is this? No. I, <laughs> <laughs> I see it on the screen, right, Joe? Yo, this nigga Archie keep putting these Android ass pictures. Yo, if you got an Android, don't participate. Mmm. <laughs> that was a good ramen, though. That was a good ramen. Yeah, that, 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 I know Omar yeah, doesn't well, like Archie ramen, just, but yeah, well, Archie just posted look like a six. I mean, seven. it's a it's an Android phone, so I can't really see what it is. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, night mode. Uh, Come on. I fuck it's with this. Five and oh, well, you don't even have an Android, bro. It you don't got a cape. It looks like it's good, but it's not something I would like. So personally, I'm gonna go five and a half. But it don't look bad for like some motherfuckers. I know some of y'all gonna like that. Uh, seven, seven. It's just not actually my, no, not six, six, six. Not my kind of food. I get a com five, com five. Bro, com stop five. replying to me in NSFW about this. You niggas are freaks. Please stop, bro. <laughs> I saw you tag what you did, bro. I seen the noty. I'm like, oh, I Lord. just niggas was like, yo, Domo, Domo, what a link. I don't got a link. I can just tell you what I went. And that's yo, it. what is this? I don't know what that is. Stir fry noodles. This look like it's finished. That look like that look like the little jumps I mean, that you get packet that, that you just throw in the pan. The, no, it, that shit like looks like I don't think it's good though, it, but it is stir fry like noodles. He was it wild B souls like put the note out. Hey, yo, take and a then just the sent it. Oh <laughs> shit, I got you, gang. 
That's a four. That looks you know like what? you know what this like looks like. I was cooking when I this look like when you don't four. like you don't like onions and you know the bean sprouts or whatever. So you just kind of scrape it on the side. The side. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get oh it, my God. <laughs> All right, yeah, mom. Out of that mom, plate, I'm man. done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat that. anymore. <laughs> Be so, I'm done. I'm done. You ain't done. You ain't done. My stomach hurt. <laughs> oh, man. my but, stomach mom. hurt. <laughs> I drank too much water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now them rolls really yeah. filled me up, mom. Y'all, y'all some bullies, bro. Y'all some bullies, bro. Mom, I can't eat no more. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't about to post no more pictures. Yeah, y'all bullies, bro. Hey, 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 she said, I got to go to the bathroom. All right, it's going to be out here when you get out of that bathroom. You spend the next, <laughs> spend the next 45 minutes in the bathroom. <laughs> Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Nothing. And don't take your phone in there either. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, you sound like a challenge. Reading, you in there reading a the saw bottle and shit like that, <laughs> waiting for something to pass by. Man, I don't like, know what man, this man. is. This too close. That's how I know your food, man. Then we get out of one. It look like soup. Like he said that is cashew curry. Oh, that's zero. I don't know what I never had cashew curry. I can't, I can't I eat cashew curry. curry. So. I'm about to say, yeah, that kills <laughs> sage, bro. Yeah, I don't literal think literal uh, DNP. DNP. Yeah, that's a zero for me. I ain't gonna lie. Um, that was like leaves from a tree. You put that on cashew curry? Parker, this look like goddamn. This look like I hop, bro. <laughs> no, this, this like is I hop with with watermelon on it. That was like I hop with McDonald's syrup. <laughs> yeah, those are those are I hop strips, I hop pancakes, I hops butter and syrup, and you put watermelon with it. <laughs> that's an IHOP napkin under the hay there. This, what are we doing? No, that ain't that. Ain't, no, I'm gonna tell you something. That's not IHOP because IHOP pancakes don't look ugly like that. That's continental <laughs> breakfast. That's exactly what that shit is. That biscuit. Yeah, con- yeah, 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 that's yeah. what it is. And also these these pale ass watermelon pieces. Why they not red for real? Come on, bro. That's nasty. I'm not fucking with that. Nah, he you better than this part of the watermelon. The fuck am I looking at? You eating on the oh, floor? He's Charlotte. He's Charlotte. <laughs> Zero, bro. You win. <laughs> Zero, nigga. Yo, what L fries. Is that, is that garlic bread? Yeah, that, that nigga yeah, made ramen noodles. That shit is raw. That shit is raw garlic bread. He he made ramen is that a whole ass zucchini, bro? <laughs> Just cut in that? half. Just cut in half, right? Just the zucchini <laughs> cut in half. Zucchini open. What the fuck? Why? You gonna make a soap with it? Come on, bro. Is it not the burnt kebabs? It's not the fry. Bowl. Why didn't nigga got the spoon in the bitch like a Thor hammer? <laughs> Yo, that's the nastiest sandwich. That raw garlic bread, a skewer, rice, fries, and zucchini. That's a nasty sandwich, bro. Wait, is the bread from Subway? No, is Who that a that Subway, Subway plastic? Wrapper. That look like Subway wrapper under it. Did you just get bread from Subway and split it in half? Oh my god! Did, did look at look at yellow and green over there. <laughs> what do you What do you want? Uh, what this can I get? I like just want Italian army cream. cheese, and that's it. All right, here goes <laughs> here goes somebody that showed us they they instructions they steps. He's gonna make okay, dirty okay. rice. Okay. They chopped it up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. He's cooking. He's cooking. He threw me off with the cheese. Ah. He makes a little too much. I Jesus know. crazy. I'm with all the peas. If you gave me all that shit separated, that would have been better. In my What's the cheese for? The peas on dirty rice right? nah, don't I'm make sense. I'm talking about the peas. I never had dirty rice. Peas. Where are you those peas? Those, those, are those green things? Them dark green things ain't peas? Oh, oh that's, that's pepper. Pepper. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. Nigga, this are... is one of you ever put cheese on dirty rice. I never had dirty rice. I just said that. From Popeye? I, I, don't, eat I don't eat dirty rice. I haven't had that, but I'd eat it. Seven and a half. I don't eat dirty rice. So. I still eat it, bro. I'd eat it. Cool, sir. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you. It's a, it's a couple indications of somebody who can't cook. If you just start seeing cheese put on a lot of stuff, that's just the mask. <laughs> it's not inaccurate. It's, it's not just, inaccurate. This nigga put cheese on. Look, look. It's cheese on the dirty rice. It's cheese on the bread. And whatever. He made some chicken and put some cheese on it. Like, this, this is. That's not how shit Wait, is so you saw everything up. leading up to the cheese. What was wrong leading up to the cheese? There was nothing. There's nothing wrong it's leading up to the cheese. Dish with cheese. But like I'm trying to think of a uh have you had bean you had the beans and rice from Popeyes? No. Damn, what side did you get at Popeyes? I don't know the last time I had Popeyes, to be honest. You get anything, you get fries? Okay. Yeah, I get fries, Cajun fries. What's a rice dish? Oh, like okay, so you, you have fried rice before, right? I'm of course. Mm-hmm. All right, so what if somebody just came and just put cheese on top of fried rice? <laughs> I'll slap you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, that's exactly what's <laughs> <laughs> Nah, okay, now, now get the anger. Now that, get is the a, anger that is an abomination. Uh, is, I don't think in this situation is that bad, though. I'd eat it. I'd go seven and a half. I think we'd be too harsh. I now, this is IHOP, I think. 
Oh no, this is okay. Nah, this, this, catch up on catch up on grits. Catch up on grits. grits? Catch up on grits. I'll slap okay. you for that. No, what no, the we, we, and I I'm still haven't had grits. I, I have a new hot take of the week because I you had don't this catch up on it. Not even the last thing. It's not something you put on grits. Ever. You said butter or is there another well, option? Sugar. Not ketchup. Some niggas do sugar. I, sugar I don't, yeah, yeah. Some niggas do I, sugar. I do sugar. I'm, I'm, I'm butter. Pepper, hot butter. sauce. You can put hot sauce. You put anything with ketchup. Sauce. I ain't done hot sauce. <laughs> at this point, I'm going to say at this point, if you put ketchup, yeah, hot ketchup sauce. Ketchup is last. Barbecue sauce. Is last. Nigga, all these barbecue sauce can go both for fucking hot and ketchup on <laughs> yeah, grits. Barbecue. <laughs> sur- surrogate nut. Like, you can put that on Shut there. Shut up, like. Please. Shut the fuck up. Please. He's tired too, y'all. Don't, 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 don't let him say so. This nigga Omar's tired. Omar's tired, chat. Nut Omar's on grits tired, is bro. crazy, bro. Hey, hey, so he's not lying. That is better than ketchup on grits. I'm not gonna lie. Ketchup that is, is crazy. And, and it, yo, I'm telling you, there's signs that niggas can't cook when they just start putting ketchup Girl on stuff. <laughs> And also, let's talk about it. Americans diet is fucked. This nigga has bacon, sausage, and salmon patties. Damn. Yo, bro, bro please. Please, do please, you? please <laughs> bro. Fuck? Please. Like, Damn. you don't need this much meat. This is at the beginning of the day. Oh, crab, crab cakes. cakes. That's not even Yo, crab please, cakes. stop. Crab stop, cakes? Bro. Stop. What? stop. That's from Baltimore? Something light. That's something not going to do that. Actually, hold on, Zoom. Okay, it's, it's, it, it looked. Uh, I don't mean. French toast a little overcooked. You zoomed in, but it's still not bad. I six and a half, six. How, how is it? Man. How is it brown and still soggy? Because it's bending because it's soggy like that. Um, just because you got the flash so, dancing off the syrup, don't mean like I'm about to fuck with it. Helping, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah six, six, six. It's really exposing when it's it. open, buddy. It's really... Well, most niggas can't go French toast. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> some, right? Hey, some slut. <laughs> French toast and syrup. All right, nigga. Ran out of powder sugar. Put a pinch of salt. Ran out of powder sugar. Niggas use salt for French toast? I, I mean, know. I don't know. Not I don't much. I'm not going to cape. I'm not going to cape for buddy. Um, you cut up a chicken tender and put it on pasta. I mean, you know what like... Fuck is this Velveeta ass shit? This yeah, time? yeah, that, that, yeah that's, right. that's, that's definition of uh, textbook five. That is Poor. Kraft cheese. He made Kraft made the cheese. safest that's possible Kraft food and put that it look on. like a, an IKEA meal, bro. The fuck is this? This look like a Jimmy Dean's. That's, Those biscuits, I'm, yeah, this breakfast Jimmy biscuits? Dean's. Yeah, that's a four. Now, that's I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. They look hard as fuck. To, compared to a lot of shit that we seen, they not though. Them shits is probably soft and fluffy. Compared to other shit that we the salt, y'all. Is that cheese? I don't, I don't know what's going. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't fuck know. with this more than the dancing syrup on the French toast and shit. Is that really? bug spray right there, bro? That's toast. that bug spray is a little no, too close. That's to not. The that's not bug spray. That's uh, 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 canola oil in the spray. Thing. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, it's cooking. Okay, I'm about to say bug spray. I'm looking <laughs> bug spray. Nigga, you got rice and potatoes. Americans are fat. Like, what's going mm-hmm. on? Now nah, we have dishes like that in the food. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. I be, mm. This is crazy. I've, I've, I've had I've had roast beef or something. Menudo. Yeah, chill, you know two okay. starches yeah. is crazy. I, I'm a two starch. I, I used to be a two right. starch guy. Um, I don't yeah, know. I definitely, I definitely used to be a two starch guy. I go to a restaurant. I used to be <laughs> sick. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, me out of there. There's a Filipino dish that look, that looks like that. That's yeah. a that's a three for me, man. That's not Nigga, I'm putting I'm giving you a minus score because you really put Sanji up there like you really cooking. No, <laughs> hey, nah, yeah, he did frag rap. He frag rap. Yeah, you did three. I was gonna give you four. Like it's four. Like, you're not oh, cooking. Wait, wait, wait. Damo and Sage, y'all see that candle in the back? Y'all moms ever bought some candles? Y'all see that, that specific candle? one? Like that t- that that style of candle. You don't know, forget it. Just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the style, yes. That's what everyone. I'm a, I can't I'm a, say this style. No. This don't this don't look like no seasoning on it. But I'm just glad you ain't put cheese on it. I'm gonna say that. Hashtag move. Y'all crazy. <laughs> um, I think that oh, we got a couple more. <laughs> what that nigga throw? A bowl. What, what, is that? what is this? What I don't is that? Know. Chipotle yeah. bowl? Like a homemade chipotle bowl? Oh, that's no? sour cream. I'm gonna say, I hope that's a bowl that of sour is. cream. No, that is, that is sour is cream. It? It's like it gotta be sour cream. Like like some speckles in there. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Because he has the, I guess, I, I guess that's pico de gallo. Tiki masala. It. I hope this is for more than just you, because that's a lot of rice, gang. <laughs> I'm assuming that's pico de gallo and sour cream. If it is, nah, it's this is crazy. Now nah, this is crazy. I can't eat that. So DMP. this nigga, this nigga has eat. pasta. First of all, no sauce. Pasta. With shrimp and ground beef? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's nasty. I, I literally, I found out the I, hard way. I, had I, one I will say, I will say, 
that combination is something I would try. I'm not trying this though. I'm not trying. Seventeen these in the chat. This is not... this is this. DMP DMP. He says not has sauce in it. This the sauce, sauce is always, mixed in. It's always underneath, huh? It's always underneath. <laughs> Y'all niggas do not put enough sauce. What the fuck? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not saying you can't have your your oh, food. That was the last but you can't you can't put yeah. shrimp and ground beef. Yeah, you need a little bit more. Shout, yeah, shout out to the uh, chicken sandwich, man. I think that's still rained on top. Okay. Yo, yeah. the chicken sandwich yeah, probably one. I might, yeah. I might boost the chicken sandwich up compared to everybody else. That shit. Yeah, eight nine, man. I wouldn't be mad if like I went to a, a not S tier restaurant, but like a look like a Red, Red Robin, Robin restaurant. Yeah, yeah I cool. trying to, I will say, out of all Did you say Red Robin too? Out of all the spaghetti, I ain't been there ever. <laughs> I ain't been there ever. People probably look the best because that lemon fucking. Salmon was spaghetti was nasty, and the first spaghetti was like, nah, it just wasn't enough. So, out of all the spaghettis, that's the best spaghetti, but it's a very low bar. I'm putting y'all meals in there, it's not cutting it, chat. Hey, I'm putting it at the very end. Nope, she listened to B Souls earlier. Larry, Larry, want to show us his cooking so bad. Is, is, <laughs> is DoorDash ribs? It's not that's happen. the first interaction. Oh, yeah, he did him, go in at the end. We hold Larry, we hold the shit out of Larry. Man, these ribs look like from DoorDash. We hold, he got mad at me. It's not gonna happen. Sorry. Oh my god. Pops. <laughs> Pal. I'm gonna check it out though, cause he. Um. Good. Let's do the hot take of the week, man. Let's do the hot take. Where the noise at? Oh, Damo. Oh, shit, I forgot oh. one. I just had the other one I wanted to do. Oh, I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> there he did put ribs. <laughs> okay. Let me see. There he did put ribs. I'm about to check right now. Damn. When I was about to use, I already fucking did. Um. Hmm. Shit. Somebody else gotta go. Fuck. I already used this one. Okay. okay. Be so. Listen, man, oh, you ain't droid guys got to stop being insecure when our iPhone release comes out, bro. Oh, my God. The insecurity is uh, oozing on TikTok, all right? I literally saw a video. It was an iPhone 6 versus an iPhone 15 Pro comparison. The comments. Uh, where's the Samsung S? The video isn't about you, buddy. <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 That's your hot take. That's yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be in shit, bro. God, it's your green bubble ass. Yeah, okay. I, I got mine. I got mine. I got mine. I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I'm to say I, I don't even know if I'm supposed to agree or disagree with that. I'm gonna just let it sit. W you take. That's what it is. Do y'all disagree? Do y'all disagree? Not w you take. W you take. Y'all disagree? Under my head. W you take. Mister Flip over there. <laughs> Galaxy oh, Flip. Did you say Marquez put you on, bro? Oh, the Galaxy flip phone. Yeah. The, the flip uh, phone. That's a good phone. I the guess. flip is a good phone. I guess. Um, um that one. All right. <laughs> Athletes treat their job, treat their professional uh, sports like jobs because that's what it is. And you mm. no lives at home need to realize you're just no lives at home. It mm. is crazy that niggas like LaMelo Ball in the offseason can't play 2K as much as he want without niggas, I mean, shit, 400 games. You getting a 400 shots? Even if he woke up every day and went to the gym and worked out for two hours a day, and he still has time to play 400 games on 2K. Like, I don't. it's the offseason. Let that nigga enjoy his all season. If he comes into the season overweight and can't play, we can have a conversation. But let let Lamelo ball. <laughs> Literally, let him ball. It's 2K. It's crazy that niggas will dead ass see a nigga like Ben Simmons at the bowling alley. This nigga bowling but not shooting. Shoot the gym, nigga. Yo, Ben Simmons does not have to live in the gym. He can go bowling with his family. He can take his son games. bowling. What about 400 shots? <laughs> Yo, he's tired, bro. He's so fucking uh, tired, dog. It's my second nah, hour of nah, if, today, if, if, if niggas, if niggas is sitting there like, "Yo, has Kobe ever had a my player?" I'm going home, bro. All right, bro. I'm going <laughs> home, crazy. dog. What would Kobe do? What would right, Kobe Two games wasn't out. God, <laughs> I'm, so I'm so sick of these new NBA niggas, man. All these niggas sit on Twitch all day. It's the fucking off season. <laughs> like literally, last last fucking stream, last pod, Omar. Y'all know Terrence Ross really be on Twitch? I would assume so. It's the off season. What else? Is he? <laughs> He's not getting paid to play basketball. Nah, and bro. What deals does he have? When was the last time you seen a Terrence Ross commercial? And exactly. that's part. And that's part of the problem, man. He's not in hey, the lab for hey, real. He's not working what? for guess real. Guess what? He is working on Twitch. Let him play. Let him stream. Mm. Let him stream. It it does not. 
it don't that's his job that is a job and until you see them fucking that job up it is nothing wrong with it when Lomelo ball starts playing ball i i assure you he's not gonna be playing 400 games worth of 2k at that point he's gonna dial it back because he's in the middle of the season and even if he's not even if he does by fucking october have 1200 games of 2k guess what as long as he goes to work on time, it's fine. It's just his job. It is whole fine. time. Whole time that team is ass. It's because of him, man. But hey, we let these little guys slide now. Pause. When you slide, slope gets slippery for real. I guess. All right, Sage. I'm trying to decide which one because those two were funny ones. So mine was pretty fucking boring, but we going ball, bro. Uh, let me pull this up. Not gonna lie to niggas, bro. I get nostalgia is the wave and the name of the game. Everybody loves the past what they grew up in. Not gonna lie though, bro. It, it, when it comes to sports, bro, it's not true. I, I, I I've seen this clip of essentially niggas getting they they fuck like look at like niggas getting fucked up. And I I get it, you know. History has rooted um. Person against person violence, and everybody loves it. like human violence. Niggas like seeing fights, all that extra shit. But at the end of the day, bro, we cannot act like uh, this is an era of football that should be cherished, and this is peak tier uh, in basketball when niggas was clotheslining each other in the sky. Like, come on, bro. Some of this shit's exciting, a hundred percent. It's like, damn, that nigga, that nigga fucked him up. But the idea of like. I, I don't know, bro. That's I just feel like it's like damn near damn near barbaric, <laughs> damn near barbaric at some points in terms of like, oh yeah, I'm so happy that these motherfuckers damn near died on the field. I'm so happy that these players back in the day think that they were literally killing each other on the basketball court. Oh so it's God. like, eh, I, I, I know a lot of people ain't gonna fuck with that. Again, you know how the nostalgia is with niggas, but um, nah, I ain't gonna cap. And my favorite player of all time to give you even further context. Show that's not a bias towards the future. My favorite player is Troy Apollomalu. I love that guy. I'm not gonna say I miss that era of fucking football. That's crazy. What, what's the reason that you don't miss that era of football though? It's because like when you grow up you, and you realize yo shit is not a game. Madden is not like the real life. <laughs> These niggas are not just assets. These are human beings. The idea that a nigga like A B, for example. Dalmo genuinely has a, a thought that, hey, yo, that nigga got hit and was never the same. Is that not insane to be like, yeah, I miss more hits like that? Like, damn, you want these motherfuckers to die. The idea that, and I will forever say one of the most underrated sounds of all time is Luke Keegley, retired at 28 years old. And he, he was a, and mind you, he was one of the hardest motherfuckers ever. Hardest hit motherfuckers ever. But he was like, yeah, <laughs> it's not safe out here. Can't do this shit. It's crazy. The idea that the position that is made for the most violence gets hold the most running back. The position is literally either you score or you get hit. And that's the that's the position that is arguably most cherished while simultaneously is like, pack that nigga when he's 28, 29. That's fucked up. So when you really think about the shit, bro, it's like, wow. Niggas about it. Then on the same end, say they missing, they missed the sport where niggas was getting they shit hit even harder pause. Like, nah, I don't really rock with that. The only thing I give you is the quarterback rules sometimes get OD. But that's the only thing I give you. But you, uh... I mean, at the end of the day, that stuff still happens in football, so... Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. They want it to be even higher. They're missing the old era when there were no QB rules, and even though some of these QB rules are fucking whack. When there were no QB rules, when niggas were allowed to helmet to helmet, when P.I. was rarely fucking called, not saying it was never called, but rarely fucking called, it... it, it like, to say, to boo me, and I know I'm going to get booed, but to boo the idea that a motherfucker's like, no, don't go. What the fuck? And this is just football and basketball. The idea that these old-ass niggas really would sit there and be like, yo, Curry, we we do that to you. Bro, we're playing basketball. What what are you trying to do to I me? What, what, what are you trying to do to me, sir? Like, I'm just trying to hoop. Like, imagine if I go up there. Let's say I'm the most suburban gate-kept motherfucker of all time, and I go up to hoop. And Omar is from is from the streets, that nigga hood nigga. And I'm dropping him the fuck off. And he I like, but you want, but you want you like you want like what? You're trying to fold me, nigga. I'm just trying to play a sport. But y'all are sitting there, yeah, bro. That's my kind of sports. It's not even playing a sport anymore. You're just hurting people. And human violence has been something entertainment for people. But at the end of the day, dog, that's not. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I don't that's know. what they signed up for. He running from the grind. That's what it oh, sounds like. I ain't gonna lie. That's how you run from the grind. Apparently, that's what they get signed up for, bro. 
They signed up. For, <laughs> they signed up to not be able to walk the same. Bezos, so that back pain you talking about sitting down? Yo, that nigga, on, that nigga woke up. up for it. <laughs> Them niggas, hey, not even that, not even that, not even that, not even that. Them niggas, they sign up to wake up with that kind of pain just in general because they got cracked back. But they go through, they still go through it today. I understand, I, you know, I don't even know the statistics to say that there's like less of these things going on just because the optics of the hits may look different. They still doing head and head on collisions on a yeah, day. Yeah, they still happen, but at least, at least there's rules for it. I, get, I guess, I guess, yeah. It's, it's different yeah. when it's on yeah, accident yeah. versus when they taught a, a era of players that was on defense. Thank you. Read Thank with you. your head. Like that. That's a total different. Like I guarantee you, there's. Le- I mean, let me. Matter of fact, let me not say guarantee. I would assume that there are less injuries due to head-to-head collisions than there were 15 years ago. I think that's 20 a fact. Years ago, I, a- I think I, I would think that it is because people are more conscious of tackling different, trying to tackle different. Now, yes, you still have your accidents. Ryan Shazier, I was. Bo- Ham, you have your you have your accidents of things that happen because you can't avoid it. There are unavoidable things. That's fine. But you literally had a legit era of people, generations of football players that were taught lead with the crown of your head. Now that's you know? a different era, though. Forehead. That's a different era, though. But and that's the era I'm talking about. about. That's, that's what no, that's I, 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 I would disagree with that one. I, I don't think okay. that's that specific era. That would that was that's like pre ninety five type. No, no. Sure that's in the clip. Man, that's not, and that's not that's not that far ago. That's like early 2000s. Thank you. When, when I was growing up, football, I used to see they. I started playing football in third grade. In third grade, they taught me how to tackle lead with your head. And I stopped playing football I, 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 in my eighth grade. Sure, I, I heard oh, that well, shit too. And I and I was not a football nigga. I, like I ain't gonna that. lie. That then, then where you and, and mind you again, I, I can we say are in the, I am in the south, so that it might. Be I, I am, I'm in the south. I'm in the south. I'm in the south too, and I I've never heard somebody say lead with your head. But I'm pretty sure your coaches. How old were your coaches? They were, I mean, assuming now, they were probably mid thirties, early forties. At that Pre ninety five is when they grew up learning football. No, I don't disagree with you saying. I don't disagree with you saying overall. I don't think that's the specific era in which was like the thought process was leave with your head. But I, I'm not going. I'm not going to totally disagree. Yeah. It's like we just need niggas to get knocked out though. I ain't gonna lie. Bring real football back. Um, <laughs> let me get my little hot take of the week. It's just a calm little, calm little take. Uh, like six. <laughs> like six type shit. I don't got one that's too salacious this week. Um, it's it's more expensive to be poor than it is to be rich. Um, I say that to say buy the first buy it right the first time. Don't buy it right the second time. A lot of y'all buy it wrong the first time and try to be cheap and shit like that. You're just gonna end up buying it twice, man. You're gonna spend double the money. That's all uh, that care. I was just going to say that doesn't mean do it. Oh, I get what spend you're money okay. all the time. Spend money all the time. Definitely do your research. But a lot of y'all try to cut corners and et cetera, et cetera. And then you either underbuy or a lot of people just overbuy because they don't understand what the fuck is going on. I'm watching a lot of the 15 Pro okay, videos too. And this is a big old, this is a big old point. But I'm watching a lot of the 15 Pro Max videos and I'm like, and y'all don't take pro res log photos in any other situation even with your even if you have a regular camera you don't need to spend that extra two bands i didn't know iphones was like two bands two three bands two twenty five you can get up to twenty five hundred iPhones oh yeah if you, if you max it out yeah if you get a yeah. 256 or they probably have the what is it 512 they probably have 512s out now so yeah my show was 1100 but after the yeah. trading it went down to like 7 512 pro max probably easy clearing 18 no nah, they got no they got the terabyte joint and that shit yeah, oh, yeah. ggs yeah definitely so yeah. so if you did like some some people you're just buying it just to buy it at that point and there's no way that you can think that that's like okay but you know, for some people, that's okay. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, uh, buy right the first time. Stop spending yeah. money two times. No, I agree. My hesitation was at first. I thought you were implying that like yeah, motherfuckers need to just be able to do it or whatever. Because at that point, some people can't. But nah, if you have the ability to, and you chose to cut a corner, and then that thing breaks, on a hundred percent agree. I always tell people stop being stupid. Sometimes you need to just go ahead and delay what you're doing too. Yeah, that part um, too. Yeah. In order to get to get shit popping for real, for real. Like if you can't you can't get it right now in this second, just wait a couple months. Cause what you're gonna do is what you you get what you can get right now, and then in a couple months you're gonna be buying another, you know, camera or phone or whatever the case may be. Shit is stupid. 
I, I do agree. agree. Uh, that's a fact. I agree. <clears throat> um, uh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I just wanted to bring up, and it was a great point, but rounded back to basketball just because I seen something on Twitter looking. Um, <laughs> a report came out, and people have probably seen it, but it's just hilarious. I mean, report came out that Dame basically was like, "Hey, look, if if I can't get traded to Miami, I just want to rescind my trade request. I don't want to get traded." <laughs> and the fr- <laughs> and the president was like, "Nah." Yeah, I said you said, said, is that what you said earlier? That he rescinded it and then, oh, damn, I was not listening. Damn, so he don't, I'm going to don't fuck with you. It's cool, man. <laughs> I wasn't even listening. My fault. It I was think I, to, I think I went to get my it food there. You don't fuck with b I, I guess not. Damn. Oh, damn. Why would you say that? How they man? change up, man. I damn. mean, I was. You know what, Souls? I was just willing to fight for you, like literally yesterday. Nah, that's how it changed. <laughs> up, but why? But what? But but why would you say it to his face though? Like all of, all over basketball, man. All over basketball, man. Who y'all got? Who y'all got as the finals favorites? Before we get about here. Are you serious? Uh, or uh, yeah, favorites or like who we dead ass think is going? Like, dead ass think think is going. Lakers, Jazz. And I was gonna say the Bucks, Jazz, but... Utah. Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nuggets, <laughs> Lakers, Nuggets. But <laughs> I, I guess you said it in a tone like you weren't trolling. I was like, what? My fault. <laughs> Lakers, Nuggets, and I will. I would have said the Bucks if they didn't trade for Dame because fuck Dame. So now I gotta rescind the Bucks. <sighs> I it pains me. This is I'm rooting for the Celtics out of the East. If I had to pick one team out the East, I'll say Celtics. Damn, we said like, never mind. Um, Y'all, Celtics, uh, Lakers, man. Celtics, Lakers. Those he want picks. that so bad. I respect it because I do too. Uh, mm-hmm. Me um, in the East, I think I am not one of these anti hype beast motherfuckers. Y'all know me. Root for the young players when they when they showing you to him. Being said, Bucks Celtics clearing in my opinion. I think everybody else is gonna crumble. Yeah, move um, the fuck out the way, buddy. And I and, I, and I've been wrong about the Heat. So shout out to the Heat for real for even being in this conversation. But nah. um, the West. Shit, I think Lakers Nugs is the name of the game unless you're just like a Twitter troll and Nuggets might still got it, but yeah, those are my two out there. What it about depends the Suns, on the, man? Depends on the I'm gonna say depends I don't, on the I don't, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I don't believe on the Suns. But... If the Suns run in, I will say this if the Suns run into the Lakers, they're cooked. They run into the they run into the Nuggets, it's be a good series. I just <laughs> <being cooked>, wow. <laughs> my problem with Five, that six, matchup, bro. and we gotta move on or, or end honestly. My problem with that matchup is, man, like, Nurk, you can't even argue Nurk is a better defender for Jokic specifically, but that nigga's still going. He more consistent offensively go from 35 to 30, bro. Like, he, like, he, like, the, <laughs> like, the Sun, right. The Suns need niggas to knock down shots. The Nuggets need Jokic to get to the basket or make plays, let alone just knock down shots. He's more consistent than everybody on the court. That's tough. It'll be a tough series for him. Um, with that being said, who you got on more? Yeah. Um, what's it called? Hawks Timberwolves. No Blazer support. No, nah, no Blazer support. support. I'm, uh, saying, I'm, st- I'm still on Scoot Watch. <laughs> Best believe. I'm, st- I'm not letting it die. Generational. <laughs> yeah, he better look generational. Oh, well, I mean, you already lost the Palo one, so I mean, it is what it is, type shit. Oh, oh, wow. Shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I admitted I was wrong on that one. You're right. Yeah. Player's choice, Omar. Um, <laughs> say, say goodbye to the people, man. All right, people, man. Uh, again, tomorrow, y'all, shout out to TSO Ray. Shout out to Thunder. He's not in here. And shout out to Kent. Shout out to uh, OTF Cam and one yeah. other motherfucker that I nated. Shout out to you five. I'm probably missing one extra person. The reason why I'm shouting out those 100 subs in two days is insane. I called bluff. Y'all niggas matched it. So, um, challenge in real life reaction stream. Not all day tomorrow, but at least three, four hours. Just going to be watching watching the Total Drama in Real Life series. Um, if you know ball, you know about the banana. If you don't, hey, good luck. <laughs> good luck when you find out. It's going to be a fun show to watch. Uh, no spoilers. You will get banned. I seen a nigga in chess that he got banned. I, I see what happened to you. Should, should be fun. Should be a fun 11th out of four. I mean, 13th out of 14th day of Sage, man. We almost here. Okay. Damo, say goodbye to the people, man. All right, Chaz, being my favorite midnight snack, and we will be back. Well, they'll be back Monday. I won't be here. Um, we'll be moving. 
Uh, just want to take this time to say thank y'all because I would not be able to get this fucking place if it wasn't for the support y'all done been giving us. And Big time, no man. cap, and no cap. Thank my brothers up here because again, other than the community, y'all three niggas changed my life for real. And yes, 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 yes. I've always wanted to do so. Without you three, I wouldn't be able to put not just me but my family in this fucking spot and be able to live out my dream. So love you niggas all for real. Go to bat for all y'all that has to fight any any nigga with a three letter fucking community for any of these niggas up here. None of these niggas will say something to you at DreamCon. Best believe Big Wom will. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, you worked hard too, man. I also want to say that. No, you, 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 you worked hard for this too, man. That's good one. That's good one, crazy. I've seen that shit, man. Um, nah. Be so sick about it to people, man. Oh, Peace out, y'all. Talk. Thank y'all for coming through. Uh, we're gonna go over to Omar's uh, stream afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for the raid. Oh yeah. yeah. And um, I'm not gonna be long winded because you about to see me in two seconds. Listen, man. I, fuck it. We might as well just pull a a three day straight sleepover stream, right? Might as what? well just do it. What? No. All right, I'm gonna raise you right now. <laughs> what? I, no, raid this nigga. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm. Not, no, I'm saying for me, I might as well. Hey, if you on my side, we better be sleeping over. So, okay. I'll see Rage y'all in like. Started. Three, two, one type shit and things of that nature. Hey, shut up! Type shit. There you go. I'll see y'all boys later, man. Bye bye. Yeah, damn, Ted.